to the point where I just I couldn't handle it anymore and fucking that's when I fucking left. So I was down to my lowest and I knew I was down to my lowest and I fucking had to go. And I didn't know any other way to do it. Other than just leave. Damn. Everybody paints relevant. Oh, everybody used to paint relevant as a perfect fucking picture until they finally learned a lot of shit from the fucking crap that he did to me. Yes, I am. The fucking cocksucker doesn't even have the balls to come up and fucking talk to me. I am indeed, Lee. Yeah, at least my fucking sister Why apologized not? to me. At least Tony apologized to me. I want to heal. What does that have to do with you? Again, again. Ooh, it's in this thing. Yeah. There's a whole reason that I left me, and I didn't feel like anybody cared about me. Right. I, I, like I understand. Shit. I understand. And it sucks to have people take advantage. It absolutely does. And I didn't understand that. I did everything I could to fucking to try to help them, and I fucking didn't ever didn't understand how they couldn't care back. I got more time than you ever fucking realize. God, that fucking pissed me off so fucking much. Yeah, I bet it did. <sighs> But as far as you being on the internet and talking the way that you did to her. I know. I don't know. Mm, I know. She, felt me, she made me feel like somebody cared. That was basically it. It wasn't even... I lost all track to that. And then she said she was 13. It's just fucking... Somebody cared. And I wanted to care back. I hate that I had that fucking conversation, Debbie. I fucking hate that. Good. I'm glad that you do. There's no a day that goes by that I don't know fucking thing about that sting. Good. So, I'm so fucking tired of it. My soul. Cause that's not the person I am. I'm fucking just so tired of it. So fucking tired of it. What I don't understand is when she did say that she was 13. I should have just left her alone. I know. Okay. I know. Okay. I've been, okay, I've been through okay. years of this crap. I know. Yeah. And, but but it's not, I don't, it's not getting through because what you were just about to say was I don't know. And that's not. I don't know why I did. That's not a good enough answer. It's not. It's never going to be a good enough answer. And that's why you're still in the class. I talked to Winnie a lot about this because it was something. Hundred thousand dollars an episode. Understand it. So we looked at the chat log. We talked about it. She had me listen to the phone calls that you had with the girl. She had me watch <clears throat> your part of the show. Come here. And and you know, we're we're just kinda looking like how how did it happen? Wings of light and dark spread afar. And the one thing about the internet that I can tell you is that it allows people to be free. In real life are two different things. Perhaps. There are things that people aren't necessarily gonna be comfortable with talking about openly so if someone's into something if they have some kind of a fetish they're not going to be necessarily comfortable they might be embarrassed they might be scared of saying it so one of the best things to do is to go online and and you can find people who are interested in the same thing you can talk about it and i don't know it's somehow going to to make you feel better and the other thing is that 
Uh, this mm -hmm. is called a uh, Bud Light Doing Polygraph. Doing it that way, it's oh so much less scary. <laughs> because if somebody makes fun of you, or if they just say, oh, you're disgusting, and they leave, it's like, okay, well, at least it wasn't to my face. I can just block them, turn it off, no big deal. And I think that's why you were okay with It ain't Saturday yet. <laughs> Because it's still at ten o'clock on Friday. Hey, Rhoda. You liked, and it wasn't just this person was showing that they cared about me. Because Lauren, you were talking essentially to yourself. I, I, I weren't going to go there. I, I was never going to go to meet her. Okay, so but even before then, even before getting there to meet her. It, it, it was that 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 night that I that I went there. That's when, that's when I went to Walmart and I bought the condoms and I Walmart. bought the bracelet. Mm -hmm. I am very readily. I never wait. planned on going there. Chelsea play on Saturday. Okay, or not Saturday, Saturday, Monday. Monday sorry. But before with, with a friend. There was a there was a length of time before that you guys Brighton. were talking and building. And I'll be watching some of the other games too. I think. Right. Rowdy. Yeah, I looked at you a few weeks, a month. Debbie, Debbie, I want you to listen to me because I'm being completely honest with you. you know, I'm honest. more than happy to never, you. I, I never planned on going there. I never, I was supposed to go out with one of my friends that night because it was my birthday. And he was, he was going to buy me drinks all night. Mm -hmm. I never planned on going out there, going there that night. It was that night, right before I went there, that I that I bought the columns and the bracelet. And then I went there. Okay. So, again, we're going to go backwards because I think we need to start at the beginning in order to understand this better. Okay. Can we do that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, great. Good. So, you ran into Kayla. In or in mini Sullivan all over the place. Like. And, um... You started to be really cute, like, oh, I'll talk to you. And um, okay, well, let, well, let me let me explain that to you. I, I really meant Enlighten I'll me, talk Lauren. to you because nobody else was talking to her, and I felt bad. Nobody else was talking to her. Okay, so you said you said hello, and then from there you started to test the waters a little bit. Yeah, but I didn't mean to. Okay. That's where you're going to stop just... yourself. You're going to stop yourself right there. Uh -oh. Lauren. Don't, don't do this to yourself. You started to test the waters. And you started asking her questions because really what you were after was conversation about sex. So if there was... Going to be someone who was going to have it with you, great. If they weren't into it, then you were going to bounce. So you started to test the waters, and she wasn't running away. She wasn't like, oh, I'm like, this is too scary. I'm, I have to go. Soldier first class. And it just kept, it kept escalating. And that very same day, Lauren. It all went right to hell. <clears throat> and it would have turned into a personal hell for a child. I had watched um, an interview with someone who got caught in the sting, similar to yours. And one of the interesting things that I... I heard the interrogator say was she asked she asked him do you know what this does to a child to even show them a penis to even talk about sex do you know the damage that that causes to a child and that's the reason why I wanted to reverse a little bit from talking about the end point of where you showed up at the house because the damage to Kayla started way before then. Mm 
Did Winnie tell you that I know the damage? She didn't. Um, but I, I don't want to sort of go down a different road right now. I, I want to keep you here. Hey, me, yeah, I'm back. Because I feel like the I don't know answer is something really common for you. And then you say, I don't yeah, know, that, I don't know. And you the reason I dropped off was I took a call from my air. You try to deflect it off into something else. She didn't do well in so the exam when she was really feeling down. So. Well, I, I, know, I know the damage. That's coming clutch and she wrote. And I'm assuming that it has something to do with something that happened to you when you were a kid. Or attempt to. Anyway. And yeah. we, can, we can absolutely <laughs> talk about that. I will be more than happy oh, to. But you, I want to keep you here. Yeah, that was a good call. I was pretty I fucking good call. I want you in that moment when you were talking we did in the, uh, to me yesterday. for the very first time. I know for me, personally, if I were to be in a chat room and there was someone there who was 13 or 16 or whatever, somebody who was significantly younger, Number one, I don't give a shit if nobody's talking to them. I have no interest in talking to them either. Number two, oh, if that the, person... Because I love, I love um, Emma's and Anne Quest's and wanted to chat fucking them, uh, I, I parody songs. I wouldn't talk to them. I, I don't have any And when she plays... Um, there's, there's his no calls and his like, decoy calls ground back to him. Hilarious. That I would have with someone of that age. Absolutely none. So I don't care. I really never wanted to talk to her like that. Okay. So. I never wanted to be that way. What way, that way are you talking about? What's making you cry right now? I never wanted to be so called cool cocksuckers okay. off the verge. Why I never not? meant for that to happen. Okay. I don't you want you to say I didn't guys. Or I didn't want to. I've, I've never wanted to be like that with a kid. Okay. I've never what? wanted to be like that. I've, I've what? always cared about kids. I've never fucking wanted, to be like, wanted it to be like that. Okay, so now that you were, though, what I want to know is how did that happen? That's what I don't know. You have to that's eat. You my, own, my, my, own, my only answer is because uh, someone was carrying me because that's, that's what carrying. it was at the time. Okay, wait a minute. Before? Oh, you have no I idea how low I fucking felt. Okay. I mean, I, I fucking put everything out for my family and for, for what I thought my, was my best friend, Tony. It's you. Okay. And fuck, they, they acted like they never gave a shit. Okay. And fuck, I lost so, so fucking much because they didn't give a shit and fucking... I just wanted to know that I fucking mattered to someone. Okay. So and my next so question... Vulnerable. My next question is on that first day, before you knew that she could care about you, within a few minutes, <coughs> how did it turn sexual? And why? I don't know. Don't, no, you have to answer. I want you to answer, answer Lauren. It's going to be so good for you. Because I think that's the only way that I thought that, that she would stay caring about me. But she's only, she'd only been speaking to you for a couple of minutes. You've only cool. said a couple of sentences like, hey, um, you know, how old are you? Um, all that kind yeah. of stuff. I'll talk to you. No one's talking to you. Okay. Yeah. What's the, what's the internet? What's the internet all about in chat rooms? It's all you about fucking me. sex. Okay. It's all about sex. So you picked a 13 year old girl and you started talking Thanks about sex. On that one. Okay, yeah, you have to be reminded. Because all the way up until this time, you are in denial. And I think maybe you have little glimpses of being able to, to say the I'm truth. Not in denial. Okay, I then am don't not be. In den then I'm, answer I'm, the question. Uh, uh, Debbie, then please answer. listen to me too. Please don't shut down. Listen to my really shitty and excuses, I want you to please. The question: Why did it happen? What was it that was exciting to you? Sexually? It wasn't exciting. It wasn't. It wasn't exciting. It was just uh, someone was paying attention to me, and it wasn't. It wasn't somebody else. It wasn't for money. Money it was for me. It wasn't for no, his fucking you had money. Said that chat rooms are about sex, and you were talking to her. Yeah, now, yeah, back then, I, uh, the, the only child. Yeah, back. back then, 
that's not what I thought. Back then, that, and that's not I what should. I thought at all. Now is when I realized <laughs> I okay, it. it's just all about fucking sex. So, ain't that fucking great? I've been caught up in all this fucking shit. It's been so now I realize that all the internet is about is fucking sex. Well, you created the sex between you and Kayla. Yes, it was my fault. I'm not going to say that the whole thing weren't my fault because it was. Work. It weren't my fault. It would not have happened if I would not have been on the internet. It was my fault, and I know it. Right. I'm just so fucking ashamed of myself for all of it because that's not the person I am. That's I'm not disappointed the person myself. I'm ashamed of myself. So no, it's not the person I want to be. Of it's not the person not. I even am. It's not the person I am to do shit like that. But you did. Yeah, I know I did. And I'm, I'm fucking... I, I, I can guarantee I paid more than anybody else has ever fucking paid for yeah, doing something like that. And you should. I know, because you, you hate me, don't you? I never said that I hated you. I'm sitting here talking to you. I want to try to help. Ooh, I that's crazy, you Holy understand. shit. I need to, I need to watch you, that win stream. You, you've shit. been through this. You don't think I understand, and I do? No, you, you don't. I do, You're, just because just I don't agree with it, what everybody you know what I mean? says. Give me they an 18, don't 19 have, year old. They don't have I'll the feelings that I have. They don't know what I went through. They don't know what brought me there. I'll Hold share with there. you what brought me there when I'm when I'm ready to share it with you. It's not that easy for me. I understand it's that so it's not fucking easy. hard for me, Debbie. I know, and that's what you have to go through. You cannot answer questions with "I don't know" and "I didn't want to." That doesn't work anymore. But you you can't expect hey, me to so pull the answers out of me. You're not going to get any more answers. I haven't seen you in class. You're welcome. Well, I'm not trying to pull answers out of you. I'm trying to get you to understand. So, you have to, you have I, to put uh, a stop to this. This has been 11 years going on right now. Yeah, no shit. I yeah. understand. I understand. What, just what because do you the understand? public does not understand, just because the public does not understand, not doesn't mean that I have public. to explain it to every. Doesn't mean that I have to explain it to every soul in the United States. No, or in the world. Every soul in the, in the United States is not asking you this question. I am. And I want you to understand. I just don't want to I don't want you pulling on me for wrong reasons. What reason am I... I'm, do you think reasons. that I want to sit here and talk about this? This is disgusting. This is sick shit that I never want to talk yeah, about. And here I am. Yeah, no kidding. Even if the I don't want you pulling it, uh, trying to pull it out of me to fucking figure things out. And this is what I'm used to. Yeah, this is what I'm used to. Because this is what Winnie did to me. Try to fucking pull shit out of me for the sake of Xavier Von Erk. The disgusting okay. fucking well, you know what? monster. You know what? If this is what you're going to do, then the conversation's the over. The oh, how did that come about? The skies. Because right now you're getting angry. I'm not, you know, well, uh, Mr. JV Varnock, I'm going to get him mad anyway. Because he's a Yeah, I kind of want to see that. You don't have to mention him. You're starting to go down a different road. And I think that's what yeah, happens but a lot of times because you get uncomfortable and you start looking around. Like, w like what am I going to do? Who can I blame now? But when, 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 when me and Winnie met, it's because she was trying to find, find out information for Xavier Von Erich. I haven't even told him. Well, uh, aside from that... Three months later, she wouldn't give them any information. And then way down the road, I know that you guys were talking like this. And you were talking about the chat log. And hey, stuff, Becca. And she was bringing it up to you because it really mattered to her. She has her own history that's really fucked up. Yeah, she's been abused like crazy and it to be able to talk to you about it you know I is what's gonna help I got it thanks Eric understand <laughs> too how can someone do this to me and that's why she wanted to talk right? and and if this is what happens when someone tries to talk to you and and you shut down and you start getting pissed off then it, it goes absolutely. I don't mean to shut down. I don't mean to shut down. I don't want to shut down with you. 
Okay. That's good. <laughs> but when I give you an answer, it's, that's what the answer is. It's not like I'm hiding something. But I'm not hiding to... anything. I never wanted to go there. I never wanted to go there. I never wanted to be there. I'm telling you everything that was inside of me at the time. It's fucking... I really never wanted to fucking go there. I don't know why I just think that then. Because I never thought um, that I'd ever go to the fucking house. That's, that's one reason why. And that's the only reason that I know. I never wanted to go there. Fuck, I've always fucking, I've always cared about kids. Why I ever fucking went there, I don't know. I'm not gonna shut down on you. It's just fucking hard. It's so fucking yeah. hard for me to talk about this. Shit. I know. And that, I know and that's, that's not the why... person I wanted to be. That's that's why it's important for you to do it. Everyone has to go through the hard stuff. Everyone has to talk about the hard stuff because when you don't, when you just push it aside, nothing ever gets resolved. And all I'm doing right now by pressing you is asking you to search for something better because there's something inside of you that I know is better than this. It's surprising to me that you don't just say, yes, I did it because I wanted to. And I know that it's fucked up. I love this. But I didn't think best. that I was going to get caught. <laughs> the price of freedom is steep. I didn't want to. I, I never wanted to. I so, honestly never wanted to do that. So then let me ask you this question. <sighs> if you didn't want to, where did all the planning come in? I don't know. It was just uh, it was along the way. Things I was thinking, okay, I don't want her to get in trouble. That's basically all it was. She didn't want her to get in trouble. Didn't want to do. Uh, well, yeah, the thought of going there is like, well, she's alone. And at least if I ride up by there, I can ride by the house, make sure that, that nobody's there hurting her. I think there's just all kinds of thoughts going through my mind. Mind. I never really planned on going there. Here, here's the thing, Lauren, and and I'm going to be perfectly honest. Everything that you're saying is what everyone else seems to say as well. I don't care it's, what everyone else. Seems well, no, to say. but but I'm pointing. I know what the, I know what those motherfuckers to... did. I'm pointing something out to you. Those motherfuckers have records of doing that shit. Ooh, I don't. That was 37. I turned 37 that fucking day. Mm -hmm. I don't have a record of doing that shit. You sure? There were a ton of people that didn't have a record. You know, the only thing I had on my Omega. record was no UI. How dare you. Right. I don't give a fuck about them. I know they have records of doing this shit. Okay, but that's not what I'm talking about. So you have to let me finish. Hold on. What Sorry. I'm saying is that when someone's going to do something really fucked up and they they know that it is, and they they just pray to God no one's going to find <laughs> out, is they start to think of justification. Of, of how of justifications, how they're justifying what they're doing. So it's a really common thing for someone to say when they're confronted with something like this, that no, they you say, are. I was just going to stop by because her parents weren't home and I wanted to make sure she was okay. I want to, uh, I want to look for justification. No, but I'm saying that's what it is. That's what it ends up being. I'm not sure. There's no date on this call. To they... Point out things. So I'm like, not sure. Okay, I know the type of person who would do this is a sick motherfucker, a sick person that I would hate myself if I ever ran into him. But I'm not that guy, and here's the reason why. 
and then you can list off whatever, like, I wanted to make sure that she was okay because her parents left her home alone. And underneath those justifications that come from you hating that person is where you're going to find the truth. And the truth is you wanted to go there. You wanted to have sex with her. And you didn't think that you were going to get caught because you did all kinds of, all kinds of things to make sure that that didn't happen. You made sure her parents weren't home. You wanted to double, triple check, like who's around? Am I going to be safe here? I need to make sure you that nobody gonna, sees me. You're not going to pull that out of me. I'm not going to tell you anything that I know is, a, is the truth. You know, what I fucking know. Go so ahead and be in doing. denial then. Go ahead and be in denial, Lauren. And see, and you, you, you're completely going to go against me on it, regardless of what I say. Yeah, but you're, you, you're you think saying... I'm a, you, you think I'm like all, all these other fucking people that go up and do this shit because it's their fucking fantasy and shit. And that's not what I was doing. But it had that's to not be the way fantasy. I was, and that's not the way I am now. It had to be your fantasy. It was not my fantasy. It had to be, Lauren. Regardless of what I tell you, you're not, you're not believing no, me. Here's, here's the reason why I'm saying I've never that done this shit in my life. I have never done that great. shit before in my life. I am so before happy them. to hear that. I'm so happy to hear that. Oh, you sound up. I am. I'm really happy that no one ever got hurt because of you. I fucking love kids. I care about kids. I've always have ever since I was mm -hmm. a kid. Yeah. I love kids when I was kids. I've never <laughs> wanted to hurt kids. I didn't want to do this shit. I didn't want to fucking do that shit when I did it. I don't think you realized that you were going to hurt her. She was going along with it. She wasn't saying no to you. So you don't think of yourself as being a rapist or an abuser. I think a lot of times when people think of rape, they think of like the actual physically violent act of physical dominance, forcing someone to have sex and holding them down. I don't think you would have heard. I know what it is. I know exactly what it okay, is. Okay, shut up. I know. I know that you don't want to think about it. I know you don't want to think that you were the person who allowed that to happen. <sighs> fucking sick of thinking about the shit. I know. Cool. Oh I can't God. even imagine. You're mm -hmm. so effing hot, bro. <laughs> I was trying to get. I was getting. I was just coming to get something to eat. I thought I butchered that. And I'm really glad. Okay. You know, as much as it hurt you to go through that, as far as being humiliated and all this stuff that followed, I'm really glad that Kayla wasn't real. And I think that you're glad too. Cool. <coughs> Lauren crying over this scene is actually quite um actually works. That's right. I'm sure it's upsetting to be in this class. Hey. And have to hear someone mm -hmm. like that other guy you were talking about. Accidentally, and I want you but to I'll know take it. That that's kind of what your answers have felt up until this point. Was the same thing as he said. <laughs> I'll be with it. You get off that fucking I'm internet. Not really I'm obsessed that. with that I'm fucking internet. Who I am, whatever. <sighs> But that's the guy that he is, and you hate him for that. You hate him. You see how disgusting he is. You see how he hurts somebody. Someone who's going to be damaged for the rest of their life. And that ain't even the grossest fucking thing I've heard. You know, how I'm I feel sure. to go in the fucking class. I bet. And look at these fucking son of a bitches. Yeah. You have no fucking idea. 
I bet. I bet it's really upsetting. I'm so fucking tired of it. I think maybe what the class or the counselors, whoever whoever's running the mm-hmm. show here, I think they're they're missing this from you. Because what I need hearing, Ellie back on I the same time, Zach, right? I need for him to, to die. Fuck Ellie again. Fuck her. Who's Ellie? Uh, she was my she was my counselor. I go to the fucking Augusta oh. to see Ellie and be able to talk a little about this shit. Okay. Yeah, Ellie's beautiful, and but she's married. Allie's she's beautiful. Married to a cop and she she talking to me about her life, and uh, oh my god, Ellie just fuck, she's so fucking perfect, like you. Well, there's that's nobody that's perfect. Maybe that's why I can't talk to you. Yeah, no, there's nobody that's perfect. I can get. Yeah, I know that for sure. But I I couldn't even open up to Winnie like I can you. Well, Ellie, yeah. uh, I just fucking I could let good anything news. go with Ellie. <laughs> what do you mean, but like, like, um, like recreate the uh, maybe you've heard, the um, maybe you've heard Chris Hansen and Lauren updation, like re- recreate, like I mean, do that. There's but, a but my voiceover. Why you're not this, with her any longer? Because that'd be interesting. <laughs> Here's days of fuck. I mean, people can't think that they fucking know somebody just by reading the the, the record. They can't judge people. We can talk about that another time. You're really upset. And I think what upset you, I know part of our conversation, but I think what upset you is what happened today at your test. So yeah. what was what was it that they asked you that you didn't pass? I fight I had anything to drink. And you said no? Yeah, and I don't even drink that much. Well, that wasn't their question. Well, that often. <laughs> That's not their question either. I know. I just, I'm ashamed of myself for fucking because it's on the fucking contract that, so that I wouldn't drink. Liberating. And I did. Okay. So did they have you sign another one? No, not yet. But I'm sure they're going to. I'm positive they're gonna, I'm probably gonna have to kill another, another fucking breathalyzer thing around with me again. You've had to do that before? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe that will be a good thing. That'll kind of stop the, the trigger of you wanting to go and buy beer and go over Tony's house and, and do things that are ultimately hurting you. What sucks about going on with Tony's is, uh, is I like drinking with Tony, but I, I buy the beer, and shit like this fucking happens. It's, it's like, uh, mm-hmm. I don't understand when she's, what a fucking worthless piece of shit. She never used to be so fucking worthless. And all both of them do is just sit on their fucking asses and collect the so-called disability. Well, you, they don't have to be a part of your life if you don't want them to be. No, you don't. But I don't get out enough to fucking meet anyone else. Okay, but it's still Cause not work. helping you. Because I work Ugh. and they can fix this place up and fucking... Uh, right, but it's not helping you to go in over there and do that because this is what happens to you. Yeah, I know. Every, every time I, that I come back from there, it's like... You fucking son of a bitch. You, you didn't even offer me money to what you Hello, Hello, Dundee. I haven't seen you here before. No, uh, fucking. Well done. Also God, you must, because he's done Glad this for years. So when are you going to stop from that from happening? <laughs> the one you mm. want me to stop it. A five dollars right stone and silver bracelet. And it can't be about no. what I want, because this isn't about what I want. Yeah, it can be. But it's but it's not. It has to be what you want. Because if you I start to, to I want it to stop now. Okay, good. I want it to stop now. Then do that. Then stop it. 
But I also want you to know that you already know I fucking, I want you. Biggest part of the reason that I'll do every, everything in my life the way that I do it is probably because of you, because I want you. And I want, wow. to be, um, I want to make you happy, and, and, and I want to care about you. And, and, you know, I want my life to be based around you. You know what makes me happy? As you to call me an ugly... By people who stand on their own two feet. Oh, Zach's a great character. Decisions, not based on other people. I'm going to do this to make you happy. I love the story of... I, I fucking love the story of that in Crisis Court. That's what makes me okay. happy. That's who I surround myself Glad with. Glad to hear Perfect place, right? What about so money? What about what about money? I I don't have money, Debbie. I I, I am making good money, uh, good money now, and I bring uh, bring in about sixty thousand dollars a year. You you got my social security number, you know. You've got access to every information about me. But I'm not. I never asked you about money. Sixty thousand a year. Interesting that money that sounds was like something bullshit. that you. Where's that? Where's all the money going? <laughs> point at other people. Sixty thousand. Stop at them for liking or thinking that it's important. But then yeah, you're because, you make it important because the, the, that's what they did to. That's what happened to me in the past. My brother. Okay. Which I know you don't know about. No. Unless, but, unless Winnie told you about her, him. No. Her, him, him. I I would try to follow Winnie, but sometimes it wasn't very easy. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. Okay, so. But I know you like guys with money. That's why you. That's why you were with Gigi. Lauren, what are you trying to do here? I'm just trying to tell you. You deserve a lot more. What fucking Gigi could ever of give you? Of course I do. That's why, he's not around. that's why he's not around. Oh wait a minute! You're on the phone with me. You can get into yeah, my but... phone and listen <laughs> to my voicemails now. Sixty. Why? Because I want I you to. That. Why? For why? Doesn't sound right. Well, because <laughs> I don't want you to hide it. The numbers don't add up. No, what? Voicemails when you left me. Wow. Well, one of them you. Okay. Well, I'm not really interested in listening to a voicemail right now. And okay. who knows? Well, who I, knows what I, the hell I, she um, said? And who knows what's true or not? So I don't care. I I do I. I Okay, trust me. I'm, I'm asking you to please trust me. Please trust me, baby. But I'm not. I'm not listening to your voice yeah. right now. I only have a few minutes left. No, I know. Before you date. Before I go to dinner. On your date. Okay, whatever you say. I mean, I'm not confirming or denying anything because I already told you in, oh, that's awesome. in our You're previous from... conversation that it was none of your business. You're from Belfast. Hell yeah. And you're no, trying to make it your You're getting a wrench. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Good. I'm from the Republic myself. I don't know. No, you love me. No, I'm not scared. No. <laughs> okay, I also didn't uh, say that. But... <laughs> uh, what? What did you it say? doesn't work. I didn't say that. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I mean, when, you, when you told me you didn't... Uh, yeah. You told, that, that you have never told anybody that, that, that you love him, including her. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just telling you that when he told me that, you have never told anybody that you love me, including in her. I never told anybody that I loved you, including her. Yeah. So this so is about Crisis Core. Talk- it's so what is it's my saying? favorite, and it's the best of all the spinoff the, material. You're never, you're never going to tell me what that you love me, regardless of how much to or not. Which includes like Adam well, Children and Dirge Cerberus and. They want me to. I, think it was, I think there was a mobile game and there was an anime would tell me. movie. Yeah. Of course I would. Okay, because Winnie said that you have, have never. That, that you don't say the words I love you and you have never said them to her. Well, Winnie. That's my relationship with Winnie. Winnie was really difficult. I I've been to, really I've been to Germany too, her. only I for a weekend, but it's lovely. Her. I told her that many times. So if you go to Germany, you should I know it. your relationship with Winnie was really difficult. Mm-hmm. I'm probably the first person that knows that how difficult your relationship with Winnie was. I Actually, I'm the first person who knows that. Oh, well, yeah, I'm probably the second person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the relationship with you was never good. Between me and Winnie? No, between you and I. 
Yeah, no, I mean, between you and it, it wasn't at the time, no. Right. Because we didn't see eye to eye and things weren't, are not the same now as what they were then. Okay. Then, then I, I was in love with Winnie then. Right. And I'm sorry, but I, I can't take that away. Because I do love Winnie. I, I still love her. And am okay. I in love with her? Am I in love with her like I was then? No. Yeah, Rhoda Rice. Invest in companies you know. She can't change. <laughs> and no, does he, she boy might, does he know she fucking about wise. She might want to change, oh, but bingo. she can't change. And, and, and after talking to you and spending time with you, I don't want Winnie back. I don't want that in my life. I like, I like the way you and I communicate. I love the way you and I communicate. I'm not stressed out. I'm not on edge of what the fuck did I do because I didn't even I didn't even say anything. Yeah. I'm I'm not worried. Uh, I'm not thinking about uh, whose cock is she fucking feeling. Whose cock? You know I know you know what I'm saying because I know you know Winnie so I know you don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Anyway. I love the way you and I fit. Well, good. Good. Hopefully, you know, it can get better. Because I really do want to help you. I really want to help you. You want to help me? You really want to help me, but do you really want to be in my life in this intimate way? I don't know that yet. I've never met you. I can't know that. It's, it's not a realistic thing for me to do. No. And that's a pattern that you've had too, like a really destructive pattern, as yeah, trying to develop want, intimate relationships with people that you've never met before. Do you want to make it that way? I don't know. I don't know. I think there's You're a lot the of stuff. The cool. I think there's a lot of stuff that you need to figure out yourself. And I think that one day you're going to be a really great man to be with for anyone. <laughs> Roy, Roy, when you, when Roy's you not your daddy. He's out. your fucking brother-in-law. Well, Winnie already knows what I am. The, this is the shit that Winnie figured out already. Well, why are we talking about Winnie? Well, but, yeah, because Winnie has figured this shit out already. Okay, but I don't understand what you're talking about. What is this? Well, Oh, why do you think she fucking says that I'm her soulmate? I have no idea. Why do you think she misses me so much? I don't know, Lauren. Because she knew what her and I had. She knew uh, okay. who I was. Okay. She knew I wasn't what NBC put out. Great. You're basing, you're basing things around what NBC put out. No, I'm not, Lauren. You are, too. No, I'm not. What NBC put out? I know, right? They're fucking going forever. A very small part. <laughs> these fucking Final Fantasy happened. games are these big ass fucking long of what happened. credit sequences. Not yeah. the person that I am. Not of the person that I am at all. The and person who did what you did. The They're over now. Though. It's, 12 dead. it's 12 years past that. I'm going yeah. to move on in my life. I hope you do. I hope and you after do. Credit scene? I'd love for you to be a part of my life. A well, huge part of my I fucking can, life. Hopefully I can be. But only time's going to tell that. Yeah. And... You're the only one making a decision. I'm not going to wait forever. Well... If you, if you to keep going on dates after dates after dates, <laughs> if you lured me in, then all of a sudden you push lured me away. Lured you in with a what? My female powers? <laughs> female powers. Yeah, well, I didn't send that picture of you to me. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't, I didn't fucking I didn't talk the way you did to me. <laughs> I, I didn't. It wasn't me that fucking made me feel the way that I do about you, uh, thinking that you know there they could be a connection between us. Let's try this out. Yeah, you know what you did. I'm I'm not mm -hmm. stupid. Did you really? Uh, did you have your return address? Um, no. I'd really I'd really love to send you something. What are you going to send me? You don't have to do that. You don't have to, but I would love to. Okay. Well, don't worry about that because you need to save your money. Eric's breeds are relaxing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <sighs>
And now I can't spend my money the way I want to anymore. <laughs> Well, no, well, you, should, you shouldn't, when you have responsibilities and debts to people, you should pay them first. Well, this week I kind of had to spend my money because we uh, we didn't get it uh, when we, we didn't get together about it when I thought we were going to. So I kind of had to spend my money where it has to go this week, but I will make and it proud. That's okay, crisis. I got a hundred dollars going to Sharon. I love how it leads into Final Fantasy VII, uh, like the original. My game. brother Richard. Like that. Mm -hmm. Um, I think a hundred. Also, that was that was a guy, fucking big tease for a remake that uh, to, didn't happen, well, and then it did happen. Hundred sixty-nine going to <laughs> CMP, Central Main Power. Right. And and the seventy-eight that I already have in the bank, that's going that's going to my insurance, my car insurance. Mm hmm. And then there'll be extra at right, that. So... But whatever I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep whatever is extra out of that right now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on another game when just to up, bear with me. I'm gonna drop the. Display. I'm not worried that about that. Down. I'm not worried about me? that. But enjoy I, the, enjoy this black screen. Devin, when you come up, I don't want you sleeping in a shitty place. I don't either, but I'm not worried about you buying these things to improve your home when it's not an urgent thing because you have other things that are urgent that need to be taken care of. You need to have a budget. You're just kind of spending money all over the place and you don't even know what you're doing. Uh, Roy has to be part of it because and, uh, and I, I've, got to, uh, I've got to watch out for him. I've Roy. got to right now. I mean, well, that's great and everything, but y you have to watch out for yourself as well as the people that you owe money to. You start worrying about other people like your brother and whoever when you have extra money to be able to help. But when you don't have that and you're scraping by and you're deciding, I'm not going to pay my electricity for a couple of months because they're going to work out something with me. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spend however much on beer and go visit uh. my friend who doesn't even really care about me. But I'm going to go because I'm lonely and I'm going to go and buy stuff for this house to improve it when it's not necessary. It's not like it has to happen right now. You have much more of a pressing issue on your plate and that you owe a ton of money to a ton of different people. And it's not fair. It's not fair that you're going around and you're having a great time and being like, well, I deserve it. I deserve to go hang out with my friend, blow off some steam. I'm going to go in and make my house nice because I deserve it. And it's going to make me feel happy when other people this aren't able bars. to do that because they're missing the money that you took. Take an old school uh, tea. Right, I, have to, uh, I have to watch out for Roy, though. You don't have to do. I do. No, you don't. I do. The, he... Debbie, he helps me so much. But and you don't. He doesn't even ask. But you he doesn't don't even, even ask for anything. You don't need help. And all he all he has is like a hundred dollars right worth now. of bills. But all he has is a hundred, like a hundred dollars worth of bills. But what is he going to work on? Put the sheetrock up that you're not going to buy. Well, <laughs> not only that, when we don't have sheetrock to put up, he helps me dig. He helps me do electrical, do plumbing, the. I mean, everything. He he goes down and fucking gets wood for me to, from a fire because my furnace ain't working on the ship because of my toilet, uh, my toilet, my, my fucking uh, my tank. Okay. I gotta get a new tank. I, the, the Roy probably spent fucking twenty hours out there trying to figure out how to get my furnace working, and it's all because I have a, a one pinhole in my tank, pinhole. letting air in. Well, and the guy is such a, he, he is such a good fucking worker. He deserves a oh, hundred dollars out of me a month. Everyone else deserves their money back too. And for some reason, you're really passionate about Roy when you need to put that passion into other people too. I'll, I'll put that passion into other people too, but I, I can't leave Roy out. I can't Fine. leave him out because he, Fine. he does Fine. so Fine. much. Fine. Fine. He's the, you're repeating, he's yourself. The one, you're he's repeating the one. yourself. You're repeating yourself. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's the one living nope, nope, with mom nope, right now. Nope, nope, don't care. Oh, there we go. Well, you will care if you I listen so. to me. He's the one living with That's mom right it. now. And he, he helps I mean, mom all I mean, the Fantastic. That's amazing.
So please care just because it's mom. <laughs> no, I don't care. Um, well, a hundred dollars a month is not gonna kill me. I've, I've got to look out for him. Fine, look out for him, but look out for other people too that you fuck over. I am not gonna fuck over anyone. I don't want to fuck over anyone. I don't want to. Whatever you say, you know, my money has to go. That's where it's gonna go. But I've, you've got to include a hundred dollars for Roy. If that's gonna get everyone else that you fuck over their money back, fantastic. Give it to Roy. I'm not. I'm not fucking over anyone. I want to pay everything I owe. Fantastic. Then do that and stop your bullshit about buying beer I, and cigarettes and cheat rock and fucking light switches and lights to go over <laughs> a mirror in some master fucking bathroom and a motherfucking trailer that's they about to as fall cute. down. They good. It's not gonna fall down because I'm rebuilding. He's got those I, sexy gills. I, I don't want you. To, I don't want you to be in a shitty place. Don't worry about me. Worry about your obligations. Your attention is like totally misdirected. It needs to be focused. Like, okay, is my house standing right now? My Can I live in it? Great. Do I have food that I have to have for myself and for my dogs? Great. Do I have electricity and water? Amazing. From there, you start to build on things like your car and your insurance that you're obligated to have, of course, and gas in order to get places where you need to go. Oh, I'm going to tell you. I have got to tell you. What? Except for this month, starting May 3rd, $180 of my money goes into my credit union account every week, which I'm not, I'm not sure how we're going to work this. Yeah, they make us up some money somewhere along the way to get it. The right amount. The, the, that's what I've had problems figuring out. So how am I going to get to match up so that <clears throat> so that the right amount is in my account when my car payments due, you know, when my insurance is due. But right now I've got Jennifer had her put hundred eighty dollars going into my credit union account so that come time to pay my car payment, it would be in there in my insurance. My insurance is due on the 10th. My car payment is due on the 17th. I am back. So I, got, I have to call the car place. Because I was really close to beating the um, like the 19th, I crisis course. So I just finished yeah, it off. They're not going to like that. Uh, well, they weren't bad on the car because they let me pay me payments on, on one payment that I didn't pay. That I called and talked to them and said, listen, I can't pay this payment this month because I've had to pay other payments. Can I work something out? And they said, yeah. They said, let's work out a payment where you pay your car payment, plus pay X amount. How much would you like to try to pay? And how many much across would you like to pay? It? So I said, well, let's do my car payment plus $100 plus. So it's like six ninety for the next three months, I think. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, your finances are just like a giant shithole. I am sorry. Oh my god. Did I tell you I love you? Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so. I am so sorry. Yeah. Oh I, um, I wanted to tell you that before, but we had meditated talks. Oh my god. I'm going to have to spring it on her and something. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I'm sure I'm sure yeah. we're gonna have a moment to to talk about some things. Financial expert in, in reference Armstrong, to your money, I want to help you figure that out because I'm really concerned. And I'm not concerned. I'm, you should be too. I'm not because Lauren, you're I'm, you're living in this really unrealistic financial <laughs> world. You're, you're taking on things that you can't afford. And you're kind of shuffling money around to be like, okay, who can I screw over this no. month? Um, no, I can afford not... it. No, you can't. I can afford it. L you can't listen. because if you could, you wouldn't have missed that payment. You wouldn't have stopped paying your electricity for those months. You know, you know that it's it's way too much. Like you're you're completely creating a shitstorm that you're not going to be able to get out of some point, and you're going to have to file bankruptcy. No, I'm not, no, I'm not doing that again. All right. Um, hey, listen, I got to go, though. I know. You got to date. I have to get going. 
So what a date. Um, you have a great rest of your night. And oh, I know what um, you ought to date. Yeah, go fuck yourself, okay? But um, I'll have um, I guess me and your mom are gonna talk tomorrow. Oh, is this a road I call? So let me check. Maybe after me and your mom talk, you and I can talk then. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's called the That'd tongue right. is yours. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, oh, I'm not exactly LJ sure goal. my plans tomorrow, but it should be an issue. I mean, I'd like to get you know. I definitely want to hear this this story of this long story. It's something I really want to hear about. I mean, uh, well, it's there's, there's a lot to tell. There's okay, a lot well, to tell and a lot to, a lot to catch up on. Right, yeah. Many, lot, many years. To figure out. Yeah. Yeah. Just trying to upgrade free. Okay, well. Bye. Dad? Alright. Alright, I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow after I talk to your mom. Uh. Bjorn? How do I know this isn't a joke? Um, I know that's what that's what I'm. That's why I'm wondering if it's better that we talk tomorrow Jesus. after I talk to your mom. Uh, it's, okay, it's I mean, I don't. My my mother, would, I don't think would ever lie to me. So it's just then. Yeah. Don't you hurt that woman? You understand me? Well. Then, I'll send your mom some pictures of me and stuff like that, so that way she knows it's me. Okay. And it's not a joke. That, uh, that I'm not a joke. Uh -huh. I can make sure everything else... Well, you're a joke, Laura. <laughs> Don't worry about Just that. Don't do anything to hurt her. Not a Very joke, protective please. of my mother, you understand? Oh, I get it. You're a lot like I am, then. So that's good. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow after I talk to your mom, then. Uh, okay, sounds good. Um, it's kind of weird to call you dad, so I'm just not. I, I don't think I'm comfortable saying that just yet. Yeah, I, I, I'm not comfortable hearing it just yet either. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow then. All right. Don't worry about it. All right, Mike. Bye. I hung up on him. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, I believe him. I, I uh, for some reason I didn't expect him to have such a deep voice. <laughs> what was that? Uh, <laughs> All right, Cody. Throws, uh, throws me off, I guess. Uh, it looks like a kid. Yeah, I really got to talk tomorrow. Yeah. Why do you want to talk to her? Do you like, you still like her? No. Because I have to figure things out, Winnie. I, can, I If I have a son, I can fucking know. I wasn't ready to talk to him. Oh. I wasn't ready to talk to him without talking to her. That's why I don't know why he was pushed on me. She said that she she gave him my number to call. Uh, Jesus. Oh well, he probably won't even call you tomorrow now after what you, what he learned. <laughs> ah, there's nothing funny about that. It's not funny well, about you that. sounded like you didn't believe him anyway, so you're probably dodging a bullet. No, not dodging a bullet. It's, it's, it's okay. there's this whole fucking catfishing stupid bullshit online. That's got me, I, got me fucking worried. You know. Is this a fucking game to me? 
again. That's what I'm fucking worried about. That's why none of this is a joke to me. Ow. That's why you, your little remarks don't help. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to lighten the mood. Uh, yeah, I know that. But there's a time to try to lighten it and a time not to. Well, whoever this is, Sorry. she knew about like oh, a sh the coat borrowed or whatever. That's why that coat doesn't do you any good. Oh, oh my God. God. It messes you up so it are takes you, you away from the person that you are. Yes, I heard what you said. But I, I need to talk. I need to know that. <laughs> this friggin... This is way overwhelming. And... And for someone to get on the phone and, and call me dad, after I've never been called dad. The one's not your dad. <laughs> all this in the fucking this couple fucking hours. Right it's going right in my face and it's fucking That's like me and my fucked up. You probably heard it from his probation officer or something, I'd say. You just guessing. Uh, do you still have on the internet? You still on that no. fucking internet? I'm gonna have you... Hold on a second. Okay. Uh, Hold on, I got a text from her. Oh. What did you tell my son? Okay. Son. Oh God. Okay, uh, where, what's the phone number? Learn what your what phone number? Hold on, I'm asking her if I could give it to you. Well, considering she has my son, and hasn't told I me that I had a son. son, I would think that she would give it to me. The Chocobos, of course, GTT, yeah. I remember. I can't believe you guys told him all of that. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You don't have to tell me oh, twice. she's mad. I'll fucking know. We didn't tell him anything. She Googled the damn thing. He Googled it. I told him I wanted to talk to you before and, and have her talk to, to him. God, Lauren. He's Googled He Googled it. What damn you, Damn me nothing. She went fucking 20 some odd goddamn years before even telling me I had a fucking son. It's fucking bullshit. This was a big mistake. Hey, Skylar, Do what not text me ever again. Her not telling me that. I love you, grandson. Her, her, I said her not telling me that I had a son was a big fucking mistake. Her, I said it's a good way for her to be fucking selfish. I'm not going to tell her that. Goddamn fucking bullshit. <laughs> Goddamn fucking bullshit. God, she's a bitch. What's she saying? That she should have known better. 
Does she know? Does she know about the fucking sting? That she. Why didn't she tell him before? Just fucking having him call me. She's on the phone with him right now, and he's crying. It. Hey, no problem, Rhoda. Tell her, her and I need to talk. Father, son. Can't believe she just fucking threw them at me like that. Fathers and their sons and grandsons and their grandfathers. Like, uh, and like she believes there's no fucking such thing as ask me first. Sorry. Preparing both of us for it before we're just thrown on the phone. She has no idea of how all the fucking damage she's done. He's done fucking damage. Uh -huh. Okay. What is she saying? What is she saying? Do not give winning. Her a what? What is she saying? Jesus Christ. She just said don't give you her number or LJ's number. Uh, yeah, of course not. She wants to keep him fucking hidden for another 50 years? There's no one. Make his whole life a fucking lie? She doesn't think she's done enough damage already? I damn fucking selfish. <laughs> Tell her I want her to call me. Or I want her, I want her number so I can call her. So I want her to show me proof that he's my son. Hello? Emma! Emma. I'm freaking out. Emma. She, was, she was all fucked up here. <laughs> what? All fucked up. What happened? Laura needs to get past it. What? Good. <laughs> well, he says he's my 28. Son on the phone with me already. I want her fucking ready for it. What? He already talked to LJ hey, like ten minutes ago, and now she's mad because Lauren told him all about to catch a predator, and LJ's crying. No, I did not tell him. God damn it! Wait! God damn it! Jesus, wait. can you not talk? Sorry. I didn't tell him all about Sorry. to catch a predator. <laughs> I told him I was caught up in a sting, in a TV show. I was on a show. He said like a game show. I said no. I said I'd. I'd really like to talk to your mother before it's I tell you anything like about show. it. And he says, well, I'll Google you. I said, no, please don't Google me. Oh, my God. But I'd rather talk to your mother first. He Googled you. I know. Yes. But... Yeah, he Googled he me. That's that where he stuff. fucking found anything. And, of course, when he gets on there to supposedly lighten the mood, she's supposed to put herself on mute and doesn't. I'm sorry. Did she fart? Yeah. No, well, you're not sorry. You kept fucking doing it. Like it's a real fucking joke to do on shit like that. Winnie, are you on drugs? Yes. <laughs> yes, he's on fucking coke. He's on fucking coke. I'm sorry. Winnie. Did Winnie tell him to Google you? I'm right here. You can ask me. No. 
No, I didn't. All right, I'm just asking. God. He came up with that on his. He came up with that on his own. He was trying to look for a picture of Lauren to see what it looked like. Oh. Shelly already knew about me being in the sting. Well, she obviously didn't tell LJ. <laughs> Why do you keep calling? Oh, yeah. Him? Because she called him that in a text. I like poop. I have fucking questions for you. Fucking winning. I have fucking questions for you. If I heard to just throw him on the phone with me like that. Decap, sting. All the same. She doesn't think she made enough bad decisions? What, you guys did a three-way or something? No, I get... No, she didn't talk to me. Because she's on methadone or some fucking shit. What? Or a neck injury or whatever. She did heroin? No, she was in an accident. 18 will hit her or some fucking shit. Oh, so God. when he read off the email that she sent. She said she was okay. swearing her speech and didn't want to talk until tomorrow. Well, she could probably talk later on tonight but for her next dose. I'm going to tell her. <laughs> Winnie, maybe you should well, have this without asking Lauren. I'll do whatever hey, I want. Yeah, no, Winnie, no, I, already, I already asked you not to do anything until you talk to me. Okay. And you cool. still continue to do it on your own. Why are you defending Emma? Without talking to me. Why are you defending I'm not. I'm defending me. I'm defending me because I had already told you that. And you're not listening to me. I know you're trying to help me, but... You're not when you do that stuff. I'm sorry. Alright. Um. I don't know what to say to fucking... I'm, I'm so fucking pissed off at her. Fucking... It doesn't, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Something's not fucking adding up. He's 21 years old. So the math is not adding up. The math don't add up. Lord Armstrong. Well, you're pregnant for almost a year. The math is not adding up at all because... Well, when were you out there? When I went out... When I went out... Yeah, that was before Paula. I was either 24 or 25. I'm 49 now. 48. How the hell old am I? I'm 48. Uh, 49. 48. 49. So he would have to be 23. You just turned 48. And you don't know when yeah. you turned 21. No, he should be 22 or 23. Not 21. I know, but what I'm saying is that you don't know when he turns 22. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Jesus Fucking Christ. bullshit. If he's 22, that would make sense because, you know, you're pregnant for nine months, so that's... But he's 21. Well, he could be, like, if his birthday is next month or whatever, or, like, January, or what, like, what is it, November? I don't know. What month was Lauren out there? I wasn't even, I wasn't even 25. I was 24. Well, then that would add up. I was living at Capital Club. I was living at Capital Club. So I was 24 then. And he's 21. That was... So even if, even if uh, with the nine months, 
I mean, I'm only 47. I just turned 48. You just turned Fucking 48. A. Fucking A. So he could be 21 or 22. That, come on. I know. Look, I don't know. Did Was she like a promiscuous person? No, Lauren said she wasn't. No. No, she wasn't. She a hoe. So you just turned 48. That would mean if he's in his very late months of being 21. That... <laughs> I mean, it actually does add he, up. He could be my son. I still think that Jesus. science is. You think if it was a daughter, the, um, he uh, was a, a it's always to have, right, whether or not he would uh, care about these inconsistencies. We feel a certain way, so maybe there should be a. Oh fucking! Something a little more, it. you know, valid <laughs> of a measure. Same wavelength to see whether or not he's your son, and if he is really, it's just a biological thing. It's he was pretty much adopted and. You know, it or seems like he? they're upset right now. Ah, they well, don't talk to him. It. She, I, she don't seem to think that I am. I just found out less than fucking two hours ago. Dude, she sent that fucking email she, last she's year. She's already throwing them at me without talking to me first. She sent that email last year. Maybe she was not. And you said she's on drugs. So what? What the fuck she is she thinking? She's not thinking right. She's on dope, right? You know how to pick them, Lauren. Look, that's not what I mean. I mean, it just means that there's not... Right now, Lauren's confused because of her choices. But it might make Lauren feel better to understand that she's not... Thinking with a clear mind, maybe... Have some tolerance. No, he should have no mercy. She's being a bitch. <laughs> well, it's not her. I'm thinking about it's him. If it's really and me, then. and me, I haven't, I haven't fucking known for his whole life. I haven't known. Yeah. I wondered when I when my sister in law told me that she uh, saw Carrie with a baby. I wondered, but I would oh, figure that Carrie would have fucking <laughs> contacted me. But the fucking, in two hours time, just fucking throw him on the phone at me and, you know, with me being on, on the fucking show and him asking me he is to lucky. Google him. Oh, yeah, shut him. up, he texted me. What? I mean, she texted me. What did she text you? He's like, yeah, I didn't sue him for 18 years back child support. <laughs> did she really say that? No, he can't yes. do that. She, she can't do that anyway. Yeah, I don't think she could, because you didn't know. So. Yeah, oh, I didn't know. God. She didn't tell me. She just Text her back, Winnie, that. She just sounds upset. Just don't respond to that. She's going to regret saying it, and whatever the response is, is just going to be a provocation. And what everybody needs to do is just calm down and see what happens. Let her set and fume and let Lauren demonstrate that he's an adult without you getting involved and saying stupid shit that's going to start an argument. Why do I got to say stupid shit? Why are you talking shit? Because... But well, when are you... Because you did not say the best shit on there. I mean, and you're on coke. Hey, you don't say the best right shit. now. That's why I tell you, coke does not do you any goddamn good. Oh my god, Winnie! Right now, you should just be supportive and stop, you know, being part of the problem. How am I a problem? I've been here to help Lauren all fucking morning. You don't fucking know shit. Baby, relax. Um, I have to go back to work. Go back to work then, stupid. Maybe we stop calling people names, please.
Anyway, Lauren, I don't know. That kid sounded like a nice boy. And sounds like she's off her fucking rocker, right? It's fucking... It seems, it seems so surreal. Surreal. Yeah, he was like, uh -huh, I don't know what to think. And he, uh, he seemed like he wanted to get off the phone and he didn't know what to say. <laughs> that was funny. I don't, and I didn't know what to say either. Because fucking church card bullshit. Uh, if it was though, it would have been a lot different. Like, he would have been quoting to catch a predator to you, I think. No, no. You, you saw it on webcam? Yeah. So, do I have to kill? I told you I tired shirts. She had a sweatshirt on, and her right. hair was blonde and long, and it was straight. I couldn't see her eye color. I don't remember what it looked like. How blonde was her hair? Blonde hair. It was not blonde bright blonde. blonde. Right? It, it was like... Alright, see it, but like... I don't know. It was like too blonde for anybody to say it was light brown. You know? Blonde hair. It wasn't bright, bright blonde. Like, Seriously, it was bright blonde. What I'm saying is, like, okay, like in California, when you say blonde, like, I'm talking about those chicks who dye their hair to where it's almost white, like platinum, you know, like the beach girls. Yeah, but, um, she bright had, blonde like, hair, just not like. Well, I, <laughs> it wasn't brown at all. That's what I mean. It's blonde. Like, it's not dirty blonde, like how some people say brown hair, like some people say it's dirty blonde, and some people say it's light brown. Like, it's blonde. It's not, like, light brown. I'm, I don't I'm know. Inside the place here. It's I gotta yellow, get, okay? Hang on, I gotta, hang on, I gotta get this next load, and then I'll be able to go back outside. Uh, it's yellow like a banana. Is that better? That's, that's a little, that's closer. It's not like, you know how the inside of an apple is white, but a little tiny bit beige yellow, like how when chicks dye their hair, like the hot chicks? It's not like that, like platinum. I know what you're saying. You're it's saying. natural, like natural bond, I guess. Anyway, she had kind of a, kind of a fat face. <laughs> What do the teeth look like? What does her wand look like? I don't know. They had, like, on the sides, they're, I don't know if she had an extra tooth or if it was just oh, her head. Okay. What's the teeth look like, baby? On both sides or on one side? No, it was on both sides, but I meant, like, on the side of her mouth. Like, that's where the, t like, she don't have buck teeth, you know? Like, how... Like, I don't want to say her teeth stick out like she has two big teeth. But the two teeth are on the side, not the front. Right. Sounds like her. Like that girl from Spider-Man. Have you ever seen that? Mm, yeah. She has fangs that pop out. Yeah. But it doesn't look, like, scary. It's, 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 it's still, yeah, they're... They're not like how all the other ones are in line and stuff. Like, they stick out a little bit. Yeah. And this potential predator <coughs> has a, tin, a thing for feet. It's messed right up. It's messed right up. No, I'm fucked right up. Can't believe she's fucking throwing them right at me like that. She kept covering her mouth when she laughed, like she was hiding it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bye. Hang on, baby. Hang on first.
had very high misplaced confidence. Ooh. Thanks. No, we can't do it, but we'll take one. <clears throat> oh, fucking A, I'm telling you. <laughs> DJ T Cap, you're naked! <laughs> You got cool whip. You got the cat running around. Are you are you talking now? What was going on in your mind, baby? No, uh, she stopped texting me. Okay, bye. Will you friggin' hang on? But naked. Jesus. It's because I'm quiet from me. I'm trying to get paperwork and everything moved around. You're bugging it. You're not saying anything and you're making me uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, um, you think of how uncomfortable I am. Grandpa. Grandpa. This is... I don't know what the hell to do. Don't do anything. Live your life as you always lived it. There's no difference. Yeah, there's a difference. I have a son that I've never known about. No, just pretend he's not. Son. Just tell yourself, oh no, if I had a son, he'd be 22. It's not that oh, easy. son. Why the fuck would she go that long without telling me? She did, and then she told you last year, and then she probably thought you didn't give a fuck, and then when it showed like you did, maybe she got excited. I don't know. I'm just thinking from her point of view. But, uh, to wait all them fucking years. Maybe for two years they've been talking about, like... I don't know, maybe he's asked and she just hasn't said anything or whatever, and because you never said anything when she emailed you, and she's like, no, I'm not going to open that kind of worms, and then today, you finally answered, and she's like, oh god, like, finally my son gets to talk to his dad, because, I mean, she said that she told him that she wrote to you. So, maybe he did tell her, oh, yeah, I want to, um, like, like, that would be cool to talk to my dad. And then, like, you never wrote back or whatever. So, then you wrote back. But, but she knew about the sting. Why didn't she ever say anything to him about it? Because maybe Instead that of finding out over the phone while I'm on the phone. Because if that were me... And the dad never wrote back. I would never say something to my son that would be painful for him. Unless I absolutely had to. I didn't, I didn't say anything to him. Uh, other than I wanted his, his mother to talk to him first. Before I uh, told him uh, anything about anything. No, and and I wanted to talk to his mother to first. You're not listening. I mean, he Googled me. Shut up. You're asking me why she never told him. I said because she reached out to you and you didn't write back. So why is she going to tell him something that could be hurtful to him if he didn't have to know and you weren't interested in talking? She probably figured you didn't care so you didn't write back. Yeah, I, did. I would not Oops. tell my son <laughs> unless I knew that he had to find out. You can't really explain yourself. I don't know. Lord, <laughs> don't know these, these days, out of the woodworks. These days with Google, and, and he goes and Google's me right away. 
Well, he didn't know your name. Like, well, no. You told him your name. Google. She even said that he hates his name, but she never told him that he was named after you. He he didn't know it. And why wouldn't he Google you? He just found out you're his dad. What do you think? Like, when somebody tells you, I have a girlfriend, and they're your friend, they're like, oh, really? What's she look like? That's the first thing that comes to someone's mind. Do I look <laughs> like him? Think about it. Didn't you wonder that? Does he look like me? Yeah, and you get a picture of him that I, 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 I want to see. Okay. Uh, I told him that I was going to have you send, send him a picture of me. And he said, I can just I Google you. I said, no, please. I said, no, please don't Google me. Please. Please don't Google me. Please don't Google me. Well, look. So he didn't listen because he was curious. I don't know. Like, I know you're pissed off or whatever, but... I think you're letting it bother you too much. It's not that important because it never happened before today and you went along with your life just fine without talking to uh, your Yeah, but I didn't I friend. didn't know. Uh, I also did not know. Well now you don't know still. I never even had a clue. I forget it. No, it's a, you can't just forget something like that. Why not? Because I have a son I that was never able to be there with or for or do anything with or get to know. Oh, son. Instead, it's just thrown at me, and in two hours, I'm less than two hours, I'm talking to him on the phone and and not knowing anything about me and him and me not knowing anything about him. What the fuck was thinking? I didn't. You didn't have to answer. You could have just told me now. Don't answer. Well, I just... I was trying to tell you a lot of things, but you guys didn't hear anything that I said. Sorry. Do you want me to call him back? No, not right now. <laughs> <coughs> Why is his number red on my phone? I don't know. All the other numbers are black. Is he, uh, he's not on your contact list. Is that why? Right. I added him. Did it turn red? Yeah. That's what happened when Emma blocked me. <laughs> well, maybe he blocked you. Uh-uh. I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, you, you really didn't help the matter by being on coke. Okay. I sent you a picture of him. I won't get him until we're off the phone, honey. Well, hang on. Well, no, I want to get a move. I get to this trail move around first. No. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna do my break thing right now, so we can get it out of the way. Are you pregnant? No. I'm looking at your fat belly. Uh -huh. I'm really going to have to talk. For what? Why do you want to talk to her? A, You're pissing me off. Well, baby, that should not piss you off. Yes. You should be coming up, you should be coming up with questions to help, help me ask her, too. What do you want to ask her? She's stupid. Obviously. Didn't fucking tell me I had a son and all, my fucking, all his fucking life. 
over the last 20 years of mine. Well, just forget you have a son then. It's not hard. But, yeah, it's not that easy. I right, forget you have a Rhoda. Okay, how easy is that? I've known her her whole life, Jimmy. It doesn't matter. I haven't had the chance to know mine. Well, you don't even think he's yours anyway, so just keep telling yourself that. Well, I can't keep telling myself that. Why? Because you know he's Even yours. when I do the math. Even when I do the math, it still lines up that he's mine. He's mine. It's fucking bullshit that you keep that shit. <sighs> Why would somebody make such a fucked up decision to do something stupid like that? Because you're a little slut, man. You used to tell me that all the time. I was a male slut and talk about it all cool. And then it comes back to bite you in the ass. Now all of a sudden you're not wearing it like a badge of honor. But it's, it, it's not biting me in the ass. <laughs> it can't bite me in the ass if I don't know anything about it. Well, now you know. And it's biting you in the ass. So it's just forget about him and slack. her. And stop thinking about her. No. Yes. I'm not thinking about her. I don't, uh, I don't have any interest in her. Are you rapping I'm again? I'm questions. I want questions answered. I like when you what? do thoughts. I have questions I want to know. And no, she can't sue me for fucking child support when she never told me that I had a kid. It's a bit of a weird huh, move. She was probably if anybody can nothing. sue anybody, it would be me being able to sue her for not telling me that I had a kid. Not exactly what I would have done. You probably have more than one kid. No, I don't think I do. You might now have been told by somebody. That's fucking... So fucking mad about that. I'm gonna be able to be up. How could she just fucking throw him on the phone with me like that? I don't know. Have shit. Fucking stupid. I think that a uh, reviewer was messed up at the time. Hang up now. Or possibly it was a uh, denied mac and cheese at some time. All right. You want to call me does, back? Where those things to be? Let me call you back. <laughs> call me right back after you see the picture. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll like call you back in a few minutes. Except for it looks like he's bald. Call you back. Maybe I'll call you back, okay? He's not naked in the picture either. Okay, bye. Jeez. This is me. Leave me a message. <laughs> At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Okay. Well, I guess you don't want to know. An update on Debbie. Hope you go fuck yourself. It'll feel good. <laughs> oh, cry, baby. Hi, Pedo. What's up? The hell are you leaving stupid messages for? Because you're being rude to me. Well, I'm not being rude to you. Uh -huh. I gotta fucking... Hold on a minute. I'm trying to... do this on my... Computer thing. Why'd you get so mad and be a crybaby on my voice, Molly? Because I hate it when you leave me messages like that. <laughs> but if you're a bitch, you're a bitch, baby. <laughs> well, I'm not a bitch, so don't call me a bitch. And a bitch is a bitch. I hate, I hate being called a bitch. Nobody likes being called a bitch. Okay. So I'm guessing Debbie forwarded a message to you. No, did she talk to you? How is she? No, she didn't talk to me. 
Ow. So what's your update on her? I don't have one. <laughs> My update was that I haven't heard from her. <laughs> I, I knew you were lying to me. Good news. <laughs> You knew I was lying to you, but you thought she was sending me a, a message or something. Yeah, I wasn't going to talk to anybody until I heard from her again. Um, okay, bye. <laughs> say bye if you want to, but you say bye. I won't, uh, I won't answer the phone. Well, it's your choice. You just said you don't want to talk to anybody until you talk to her. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm tired, I'm tired of bullshit. She want to pull stupid bullshit like this, and I never thought that she would do it. And she did it. So I'm, I'm extremely pissed off about it. It's senseless and it's stupid. Well, the dumbest fucking thing I ever seen or heard of. Like who? What are you even talking about? Why are we doing this again? Her, her fucking leaving the way she did. She leaves like this all the time. You've only known her for a few months. You don't know this about her, so I don't know why you're tripping. I told you. Because, it, because it's very it's very sad. She doesn't have enough common courtesy to fucking uh, let people know. <sighs> Debbie's like Gauguin. Huh? Debbie is hey, like Gauguin. Hey, how you doing? I don't even know who Gauguin is. She still has a cell phone. So wherever she goes, she can answer her phone. She can, she can answer her phone. She can send text messages. Not if she chooses not to, or if she leaves her phone behind like she always does when she goes on her little tropical cruises. No. Well, he's still fucking okay. smart. Fucking Debbie on a fucking yeah, it is. Last message, I, last message I, mean, I left her. She can leave the state when she wants He's to go ahead main, and go have some the fun and just shut up and stop trying to punch me. <laughs> punch stop you? Stop punching me. Yeah, she always trying to fucking trying... punch me with some bullshit. Oh, shut up! If I was trying to punch you, you wouldn't have a big barn door square tooth bitch. It'd be out. Trust me, you'd feel my punch. Uh, more than likely, I would. Dick came up. Dick came up with my blood. Don't you try to talk tough with me. I have nothing to do with my sister leaving. And if you want to punish me, you think it's a punishment by not talking to me anymore. Because you're upset well, about I'm... that. That's your prerogative. Stupid, okay? sexy, Jack priest. Wait, when Jim you Churches. texted me, the, the timing could not have been more impeccable. And their church But gyms. when I sent her the, the first that text message that I wasn't going to talk to anybody until I talked to her. When did I text you? I didn't even say it, anything the, about the first, that. You have been I know. Uh, shut up, Jesus! You yeah. want a fucking explanation? You ask me a question. You don't even wait for the goddamn answer. I don't care. You've well, been, stop asking been, the question if you don't care. Shut the fuck up! You've been whining to me all fucking week about where's Debbie. I, I miss Debbie, um, and um, I'm tired of it. Well, I'm, you're her fucking sister. I figured she might fucking give somebody a clue that was in her family. Yes, I know Wait. that you've been using me to try to see if Debbie's going to talk to you or been around, and she hasn't. I no, I haven't been using you. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. I, I told you when you're in, that, in the well, fucking the chair that you can call <laughs> me anytime you want to. Yeah, and then... That way you'd have something to do. With Derek. I said, that, I said that way you would have something to do. And the bullshit with Derek, no. I, I just mentioned that because it's what was told to me. Whatever. What was told to you or what you saw for yourself? So you don't even know what lie you told him. When he's so fucking trying to twist shit around all the time. So I guess Dan and Emma have the pleasure of not having to talk to you either till Debbie gets back, huh? No, I weren't going to stick to it anyway. I knew I couldn't stick to it. I love you guys too much. Well, I don't know why you're trying to play games. I know Debbie's okay. I don't know where she is. This is like the 10th time. Well, I don't know that she's okay. I don't know where she's at. I don't know that she's okay. I don't fucking know anything. She didn't tell me a goddamn thing. That, that bullshit pisses me right off. Well, a holiday in Cambodia is something that people can take if they want. All right. 
Yeah. Well, evidently she's going to fucking Cambodia. What a safe place to go. Cambodia. What's wrong with Cambodia? I you didn't hear on the news fucking last month, the month before that, something like that. Uh, about uh, Americans getting, maybe I wasn't Cambodia, maybe I was African. <laughs> well, that lady got kidnapped and they wanted to ransom for her and all that shit. Oh, I thought you were talking about those Maybe. people who were dying after they threw up all the green stuff. <laughs> that was in um, La Republica Dominicana. Oh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe it was Africa or some fucking place. Yeah, that's a country. I, I don't know where she is, but if she's in East Asia, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's just, let's well, just get that well, hint. Well, it's, just, it's, it's bullshit. She couldn't... She could have a little common courtesy and fucking let me know where she's going. Fucking Debbie's jet-setting off to all these beautiful countries and lawns stuck in fucking Maine. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I can't speak for her or apologize for her. And I don't know what she's doing. And I hope she's having fun. And maybe you should hope she's having fun, too, eh? Oh. Why? I'm not having fun worrying about her. Wondering where the fuck she's at and all that shit. I'm not having fun with that. Why should I wish fucking for her to fucking have fun? She didn't fucking but, give a fuck about how I felt. Well, I don't understand why you think you're so important in her life that she should feel like she has to answer to you. It's not a matter of answering to me. It's a matter of give me a fucking heads up because she knows that I have something to do with her every day. Well, I'm her sister, and she didn't tell me. Uh, so don't feel it's, bad. It's, we and it's food. bullshit. She should. She should have told somebody. Well, maybe she thought... Even if it weren't me, she should have told somebody. Listen, sweetie, what do we know about you? You're independent, and you're kind of selfish, and you really kind of only care about yourself, and you're fine. No, Look. I don't. Debbie knows I care this. about you, I care about Dan, I care about Emma, I care about Mom, my family, I care about Debbie. I don't fucking go off somewhere and not let somebody know where I'm at. Well, I know, because I know, I know bullshit that, that happens in the world. It's a fucked up world. You're right, it is. And if Debbie had a reaction to whatever it was that you guys were talking about, whatever it was that moved her emotionally, if something did, and she needed to take a break, then you should afford her the courtesy of letting her do that, sweetie. If you really loved her... Mm -hmm then you wouldn't be so possessive. You would just feel like she needed some time alone. I'm worried about her. I hope she's okay. hundred thousand dollars an episode. And leave it at that. VFW. It's not, just like it's not a matter buddies. of being possessive. I'm not being possessive. I'm okay, fucking NBC. worried because she hasn't, I haven't fucking heard a thing from her. You haven't heard anything from her. Nobody's heard anything from her. I haven't. In the, I in the, last, two, in, in the last two fucking weeks, there's been one girl that's come up missing, burnt to ashes, fucking college girl out in, found out in fucking Colorado. Did you hear that on the news? She was 23 or 22 or some fucking age like that. She was young. Then the, there's another one, 15 years old. Lauren, why fucking is, missing. Lauren, why does your news all the time? Lauren, blue eyes and missing somewhere. For the age of 30? <laughs> huh? Do you pay attention to anybody missing if they're over 30? <laughs> It's on the news. He's got a very specific news? news feed. Look, people are born and die every day. Just today I had to take an abortion pill. God. Well, it's it's your sister. Oh, she, I have to kill the fucking boy. She, she's born. She's not dead. Oh, well, she's, she's alive. She's fine. <laughs> she's fine. I hope. Mm, she's fine. You hope or you know? I believe I don't know. If I did, I would tell you because it hurts me to see you in pain and worrying for her, too. But I'm not going to lie to you and tell you she's fine and I know where she is because I don't. I haven't heard from her for like a week and a half, two weeks now, I think. Eh? No, and he's no. fucking dead. You heard from her the, the day after I fucking talked to her. I don't remember the last I time I talked to her, to be honest with you, eh? Last time I talked to her was Sunday night. 
Not yes, not not this last Sunday night. Over a week ago, Sunday well, night. Well, you talk to her. You talk to her. Than I you talk to her. You talk to her on that Monday, because I was on the phone with you. Because you called me and we were on the phone. Then then you said that, that you had to get off the phone because Debbie was calling you. Oh yeah, I was just lying because she wanted to know where Debbie was, and I was pretending she was calling me so they would get mad. No, <laughs> we, we weren't even talking. We weren't even talking about Debbie. We had just gotten on the phone. <laughs> no, I remember that. I'm gonna wake Will up to see if he remembers. <laughs> No, I'm not going to start this uh, big old dumbass conversation. Well, I'm not sure you are. I just wanted to see how you were doing. And, of course, like all of our conversations recently, they floated over to the topic of my hot sister. Like they always do when I'm in love with somebody! You stop. Stop it. <laughs> stop yelling. Fucking Winnie. What are you going to yell for? Fucking Winnie. Man. That's all I got to say. <laughs> are you done? You're mean to me. I'm not mean to you. I'm not mean to you. I don't know where she is, okay? And you think I want to sit here and talk about that the whole time when I have you on the phone? I don't. Well, we don't talk about her all the time. We do. No, we don't. Relax. What did the doctor say about Will? Uh, uh, a what was it that he was doing? It was, uh, it was just dusting the microwave cart and he fell backwards on the feather duster and it pushed into his rectum. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was dusting, he was holding the duster with his butt. Yes. That's an that's an unfortunate injury. Oh, Godfrey. Oh, oh, Godfrey. I don't know why you two want to do four things like that. Well, I know now he shouldn't. The doctor told him not to do that. If there's something he shouldn't do and he doesn't know about it, and you tell him not to do that, he won't do that thing. Hey, I'm playing uh, Age of Empires 2. Thankfully, the doctor told him don't do it again. Definitive edition. I was playing um, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core earlier, but <laughs> I beat that game, so moving on one. He's not going to be able to work for a while if he does. That's ruptured. I don't know what I'll play. He's not be able to walk for a while. I was thinking of getting those Mario, uh, um, that Mario All-Stars kind of They only gave him five days off. It was a small preparation. All they did was they put some... 3D All-Stars. Like Aqua 4 and some other stuff in there, and they told him that... Um, He'll be okay. That he just has to be on a liquid diet so his feces isn't solid. Yeah, because that'll hurt if it'll hurt if he doesn't. I know. He's been no having ass splatters for like a whole day. They just told him not to eat anything. Yeah, you gotta let him sleep as much as you can too, because the more he's relaxed, the faster it will heal. He farted out blood. It was really funny. No, that's not funny. It's never funny when somebody farts out blood. That's scary. I was funny. scared and then I laughed. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yes, I'm a little hurt, but I'm okay. Well, don't be hurt. Don't be so hurt. Um, that's not that's all that's we talk about. about Debbie. I love you. So, I don't want you to feel happy, and I want you to know she's okay, but I don't have that information, so I can't just make it up. Well, no, don't tell me that you have it. Well, I don't! Okay. You're well, not don't the only one you have it. I don't. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Man. Man. <laughs> I know how to do it now. That sounds funny to you, Aaron. Debbie would say that to me. I said, what the hell is that? She says, Winnie, man. <laughs> that's all I picture was you doing. Man. Oh, <laughs> are you? <laughs> that, 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 was, that mad, was that mad you or at you? Man. <laughs> 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 
Oh, yeah. Bless you. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, I started a rumor online. <laughs> what was the rumor? <laughs> I posted as Ember Inferno because she does an imitation of me and she kind of sounds like me. And I said, I'm really <laughs> Ember Inferno. <laughs> and a Wenny. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. You're better off not to say anything on there Why? than people because they're, because they're all idiots. I know. I would, a lot I of people believed that. me, too. They're like, really, Emma? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell her. Those She'll people, be really mad. Those people are idiots. You, you really got to stop doing that. You shouldn't You shouldn't talk about yourself. You shouldn't talk about me or Debbie or Emma or Dan on there because... Uh, that's that's what them people are wanting. They're wanting information about us. It's not just me anymore. It's they want information about you. Anything, anybody that has anything to do with me, they want information about. about. Will. And about Will too. They, anything that has anything to do with me, they and want information about. Us. A bird brain all day because of the feather that went up his ass. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get my crap and get out of this truck. You guys wait and go home. Drag. Uh, hey, bitch. see you there, Jim. Enjoy your, uh, oh my the party. god. What? I think Will is psychic. Why? Why? He told me the first thing he's gonna do when he wakes up this afternoon is throw up. And he did. He's doing it right now. <laughs> Well, it's probably making him sick. Probably medication is making him sick, too. Yeah, they gave him, like, all of these stool softeners. He has to take them all day, every day. He's had mud butt for, like, an hour. <laughs> yeah, but, wow, it's not funny. That's a little funny. You want to laugh about it? That shit's fucking gross. It's a little funny. They get shit and puke it up, too. It's Doesn't not... have problems taking a dump. It's not funny, nor is it though. gross. It's sad, and I, I need to care for him. It is sad. Yes, it is. And well, yes, stop you do. saying it's gross. It's not. It's a human function. Poop. Um, it, <laughs> at, the same time, at the same time, it's gross, too. Gross. I've watched Will poop before. Unlike you, I've never seen a log coming out of his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> I got two trains in my way. Two trains. Mm, two trains. Mm, I'm on. Are they like attached you, to an engine? Enjoy your dinner recipes. Yeah. Can you hear it? Oh, there. It's one of them. Yeah. No, it's just running. It's it's running. The engine is running. <clears throat> I gotta go between them so I can get to my car. I think I can walk right in front of this one. Then I'll climb over this one. You're gonna climb over a movie. <laughs> You're climbing over uh, a train! Like a box car child. I went between the between the cars. Jimmy Crack Cole, I just went down care. I went between the train cars. Right. You're like an action hero. You're like Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah. Lauren's a true American creature. Okay, I am still oh, working out. The USA. Working out more than what it was before. Well, yeah, you're going to have to look good for Stallone. If he sees how you look right now all flippity-flabbity with the floppy flop all over your body, he's going to be like, Adrian! Let's get it! <laughs> what the hell? Huh? Yeah, but is that really Stallone, though? I'm Richard Dinner, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Biscuit. I don't know either. I clicked on Sylvester the channel Stallone, and it took baby. me to um his channel, Sylvester Stallone's channel, and I clicked on the name and it shows him like signing autographs with Arnold Schwarzenegger and it showed him doing something in Africa, um, in Nigeria with Arnold Schwarzenegger to give people um basketball hoops and balls so they can have something to do. And that's what I saw on the channel. So if it's not him, then it's somebody uploading stuff like it is him. And a lot of people think it is. Whatever. Oh, 
hoping, hopefully it's all real. I think it's, um, there's going to be a movie, like another Julie Newmar movie that they want to, that has some guy, some corn pone guy playing the guitar they're going to remove, remake, I mean. Yeah, well, that won't be me. Yeah, I can barely play the guitar now. I haven't played it in so long. Neither did Lou Diamond Phillips, and he pretended to be Stevie Ray Vaughan in, in some thing. Or Michael J. Fox. It was one of those Tom Cruise-looking guys. Michael no. J. Fox. They gave him a basic <laughs> rock. He, he played That's Richie Valens. rest of the joke. He played Richie Valens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> La Bamba. Stevie Ray Vaughan in that movie. <laughs> Remember, Lauren, talking about Rocky IV. Oh, I love that movie. It's about like an underdog and, you know, what am I USA talking wins. About? I just <laughs> it's the Russian here. guy. Uh, yeah, you're better off just to uh, just, uh, stop your thoughts right there and go on to a new subject. Cause you get completely... <laughs> it's like a pretty movie. Philadelphia, and in the credits, you're just going to be guy with AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Smart ass. You're gonna be the yogurt thrower. <laughs> oh shit! Holy! Oh, oh. God. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. It's worked 13 and a half hours today. That's a lot of work. Yeah, I know. It's a long day. Hey, Lauren. Huh? You've got a big tick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too smart. <laughs> yeah, Mo. Oh. <laughs> Damn, fuck yeah! <laughs> I slept for half an hour yeah, at work. How's it going? I don't know how much longer I'll be on, though. You hear me? <laughs> hey, come back to Earth here. <laughs> Stop laughing. I keep thinking... I said I slept, I slept for a half... Jesus, you talk a lot. <laughs> but I slept for a half hour at work. Why? Did you get paid? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was sitting there waiting to get unloaded and loaded again. For three hours. Okay. Another another half hour of that, well, actually, almost an hour of that, I, I worked out. I walked for 30 minutes, and then I brought one of my dumbbells with me, and I worked out with that. Maybe you can play Michael Jordan for his biography. <laughs> Why? Why? Because they're making a new biography for Michael Jordan. They need somebody to play yeah. him. It'll be you. Well, I, I kind of think I'm the wrong color. And oh, I don't yeah, quite yeah. think I'm tall enough. You're only 5'6". I'm 5'8". Here we are. But he's got the basketball ability. And that's well, all right. I hear you. Yeah, what are you doing? Putting putting your clone on there? Your perfume? Yeah, I see. It smells good. <laughs> Smell like a moron. Yeah. Compost doesn't smell good. That's the irony. Oh, fuck. That's a good fuck. Oh, I'm tired. <sighs> Smell like my ass. <laughs> Good in you. If you made a cologne, what would you call it? Good in you. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a really good idea. Eh? Good on you. I can't yeah, I know. Compost. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. You got your dialysis tonight? Yeah, how did you know I have it tonight? <sighs> mm -hmm. you, know, uh, you said that you have it at night time. I do. Every other day, right? No, oh, like a moron. Yeah. Well, no, not every day. I only have it three days a week. This is what I said at the end. If I win it. Smell like you shit yourself. <laughs> That's great, huh? Uh, I'm, all, great. I'm all for satirical ads. <laughs> like, you know, parody ads. Why, huh? Smell like you shit 
Sal like me, why don't you? Know I'm yeah. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What? You didn't even oh, hear it. You're just ignoring me. Smell like me, why you don't you? You said smell like me, why don't you? <laughs> Wait. <Well. laughs> I'm paying I pay attention even when you think I'm not. But do you know why that's funny? <laughs> yes. Because I said yell at me, why don't you? Okay, you do know. <laughs> yeah. Guess I know. Well, I didn't know. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> seems to repeat everything I say. Well, because you're wonderful, and then everything you do catches on. You're like a trendsetter. No. Yeah, everybody online says shit that I say. Well, yeah, I, how do you think a lot of these they, men got their wives to marry them? They, they do a lot of mocking online. And I can guarantee I laugh my ass off if I look at 90% of them. Well, you probably would, because you have a good sense of humor. Like, for example, Jules from Australia asked his wife to marry him, and instead of saying yes, she said, good and you. <laughs> good and you. <laughs> oh, that's messed that's up. <laughs> I thought it was quite romantic. Yeah, yeah uh, that's messed up. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Not quite the answer that a guy wants to hear when he's asking a woman to marry him. Uh, Will you marry me, good and you? <laughs> no, I think he said, "How would, how would you like to be my wife?" And then she said, "Good and you." Oh <laughs> yeah. Hey, Lauren. When people like when you say "good and you" to people, what do they usually say and respond? Say. Nothing. They just they just look at me, laugh yeah, a little bit. They don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> Do they know that you're not really giving them a real answer? They look at you because, like, they no. don't know what the fuck that good in you oh. means. If I were them, I'd be like, what the fuck kind of answer Zachary. is that? Yeah. Good in you! And then they kind of leaves me a little bit dumbfounded. Like, why would you say that? They didn't ask me anything where he could say good in you. Like, yeah, uh, no shit. Good in you? It feels like me that he's ignored. <laughs> yeah. Some people can be really clueless. As if. Uh, I said as if. Again, look online. Look at all them people that are coolest online. Alicia Silverstone. I like her. She's going to be in another Aerosmith video. That's what it says here in your learnography chat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she commented, by the way. I'm sure you already know, because you already have people checking for you. Like. You know, they, they don't check all the time. They, but no, I don't know, because I haven't, you, I haven't even talked to them for a couple of days. <laughs> when they talk to you, they're, they're going to tell you about something. <laughs> they're busy. That's why they, they, don't usually, they don't usually go... On there, on they don't Ornus, of course. Don't. Really, didn't even know much about. What, what, what if, Shut up. When else will they fucking take place? The most holiest of days. No. Fuck. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. Alicia Silverstone. <laughs> Six oh. and kisses. Said what? Say what? She said support, hugs, and kisses. No bird food. No, no bird food. No. What the hell does bird that mean? It's about, it makes so much You know, she's famous for chewing up her food and spitting it into her baby's mouth. Because he can't masticate. Oh, really? Yeah. George Zoffick esque wedding. Remember when you used to do that? <laughs> nope. Oh, I forgot your mom's not a bird. <laughs> gorilla. <laughs> what else is said? Uh, I mean, how many more comments are there? What one is that one? Is that the, the first one or? That first, was uh, Thursday. First... Yeah, it's bananas. What? Energy. You don't need to do it with them. Bananas, I mean Thursday. Somebody Banana ate my cream. ice cream sandwich with the cookies! 
I'm going to go ballistic. I put it away and hit it, and somebody found it. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm looking for my ice cream. Thank you, Ellie. Are you supposed to be eating that? 301 is 301. Yeah, why not? I'm like, ouch! I'm not diabetes. Okay. I'm just making sure. Uh, I need to wear a better bra. I just bent over and my nipple got by a blade of the fan. <laughs> uh, I had to take off the the front part of the fan because it's hot now and I had to dust it and then I just didn't put it back on. <laughs> I'm boober. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, I don't I know about you. Turn it off. <laughs> turn it back on. Did you Do hear it? <laughs> no. I oh, didn't. Do what? I thought you heard it. Yes. Heard it what? <laughs> no, I can't hear anything but you laughing. Well, it's because it happened like two minutes ago. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good and you? Mm -hmm. Good gotcha. and you? No. Gotcha. Good and you? Hey there. Have you ever heard that song? It reminds me of you. What song? Hey There Lonely Girl. Hey There Lonely Girl. Lonely Lorne. Don't you know that Debbie thinks you're gay? Oh yeah, those fucking chickens just kind of chilling out. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I made a, a new lyric balls. like Emma does. I want to be just like her, except for not gross brown color. Every time I see them, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I've tried to do it. Like, what? Relax on Emma. Oh my God. I hate her. And I hate that she hates you. Oh, you, you. don't either. Yeah, huh? No, you don't. She makes me mad. When she thinks she's too good to be your friend, fuck her. She doesn't hate me. Whatever. She doesn't think she's too good to be my friend. Why would you say that? Because I called her earlier and she told me that she doesn't want to talk about or to you. And she's done because you are always suspicious and you'll never change. Well, I'll, I'll stop being suspicious when suspicious things stop happening. Whatever. Well, well, that's her point. They don't happen with her. So you can just... It's not my... It's... It's not my fault that it's suspicious. Don't tell anybody suspicious from the internet your last name. Is it her fault? There's suspicious it's things are happening you. about me. Is it her fault? No. Um, only, if she had, only if she had something to do with it. Well, she didn't, and you said she did, and she's tired of that shit, and I see where she's coming from. Something to do with well, it. I'm tired of the online bullshit. These fucking idiots on there that go on and say it's such dumbass fucking things. Shut up. Yeah, just like fucking Betty. Betty was saying Ooh. shit on there too. So don't like fucking send bring Betty, Betty to this yet, rat. I'm gonna send Betty fifty bucks this week. Good. I'm gonna send her a letter 50 too. Fifty bucks. Wow. I'm gonna tell her. If I hear any more about her saying any any more stupid shit about me, then she can consider herself paid in full with the entertainment that she gets off of me. Oh, gotten off me up. for years. You stole a bunch of money from her, and she has right. a negative opinion about you and is expressing it. She doesn't need and deserve to be punished. I don't give a fuck. I don't need her to get online and fucking say a bunch of stupid shit about me. And she fucking saying that I killed her fucking husband. That bullshit pisses me off. Her, her fucking... Her fucking husband was was sick when I met him. Someone too, uh, you would talk shit about someone too if they stole from you, you bitch. Let's stop that now. Oh. I'm five four and a half tall. I weigh two ten. Rotund build, bald head, dull eyes, crooked cock. I love being naked inside my trailer drinking Bud Lights. I mean Bud Lights and Virginia Slims. Flame broiled burgers and wheat coffee. I drive track 
and find a way, even sucking at that. I suck and swallow at singing country music. I'm a pathetic man-child raised by my mom. <laughs> That's going to be what's in your dating ad. Yeah, whatever. I love you. No. You don't act like it sometimes. Yeah, I, I do. Your mom doesn't even say she loves you. <laughs> Laffy yeah, sounds like it's been great, but uh, Aaron's doing all right. We've, we've had, I think we've had the longest lockdown in Europe, but um, those fucking pubs open on the 21st. Things are going to go all fucking shit, Greek. That's it. It's go You're like stupid. That. You want to marry me? No. Why? I'm Double pretty. Bite. You're married. You're married. God, I'm married to a perforated butthole. Anyway, I don't want to marry somebody who'd blackmail an old woman on the anniversary of her husband's death, no less, last week. Thanks, Lauren. What? Last week, she came into the stream and said she thanked everybody for saying kind words to her on the anniversary of the death of her husband. The wet pub. She was hurting, Lauren. Last week? It's weird. They're yeah, calling said, the wet Or two weeks ago. Wet what's pubs, today? Tuesday? Yeah. It sounds Call weird. me and Tony and my brother, Three Stooges. Well, you were. Hello. You shared pictures no. of yourself working on she, her house on MySpace. Perverted she needs to shut her fucking mouth. She was there. She saw you guys. You are the I, Three Stooges. But if I was her fucking age and no lady and talking like that online, the people that she don't even know. Hey, Lauren. That, that would turn you around and fucking buddies were the three stooges, you with fucking sparklers cunt. all over your weird baby dick. Stop it, salt and pepper pubes. Excuse me. No, I'm not going to stop insulting. She don't stop insulting. She goes on to that just so that she can insult me. So oh, she can get a pity party for her. <laughs> That's been years in the making. <laughs> That's been going on for years, so that's her entertainment is. Hold on a minute. Trying to fucking make it, trying to say shit about me. I'm doing audio. Of I was in bed one actually last weekend, Kat. Did you just say you and Tony so that you got, a, so Tony was book. the one that was working on Betty's house and you lied to me the whole time. <laughs> I didn't lie to you. <laughs> I didn't lie to you. Man, I'm so fucking mad I'm not recording. Did you hear anything that I didn't lie to you? You told, I told you it was me, Tony, and my brother. You didn't, you told, told that a long time ago. You told me it was a different Tony. You swore it was a different. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not either. What? No, I didn't. You yes, I'm similar to that. Your lies. Oh, You're the child. worst liar ever. We have four of them in hand stores as well. Though. Whatever. When he's stopping, I'm just gonna hang out. Well, let's have sex over the phone. You know that. You know that. Try to trust me out. Tony. Zach, you're not gonna trust, that fucking fucking trust me out. Shut up. Why don't you go to Mama's house and throw you back then? Uh, yeah, he's not here it was alright. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Man. We, don't we got like stung. We, we went in at sick half Put six. Put it in so my mouth, you ugly inside. bitch. It was a bit too expensive no. for what it was. Like, you know. But our one's alright. Like. I wish I knew where Debbie was. I would love to laugh with her about you. The Guinness was alright too. But you couldn't go up to the bar to order a drink. You had to, you had to wait until the wait waitresses came down. Just fair enough, I suppose. Anyway. That's not a big concession to make. And then, um... Anyway. Yeah, I heard, I heard Bridge Street is a coffee bar now. Which is weird. I haven't been there, though. Why don't you love me? The only coffee place I've been to <laughs> since lockdown was, um... Costa. The other one up the road from me. Tell me, please. What do you mean, why was Debbie better than you? Why did you choose her? When we were still together, you told her not to hurt me and let me know about what you and Debbie were talking about while I was in the hospital. We were still together. And why? Grover. Grover? Yes. The hell you call me Grover for? Because you're stupid Sesame Street puppet bitch. That's how special you are to me, and that's uh, how much I love you. What? Uh, it, it's way better. Can, can, it's way better than the one in, um, puppet. in fucking Tesco. It's way better than that. What? Shit Puppet! From Sesame Street! Oh, oh, Sesame Street Puppet. 
I never said Debbie was better than you. Me and Debbie got along better than me and you got along. Nah, she doesn't even like you, and I tell you I love you every day. Ooh, I, yeah, I've I heard about that pizza, man. Yeah, the fire slice, I heard that's good. <sighs> All in her anus I haven't been able to try it myself. It. <laughs> it's upper, it's a, I think it's at Bridge Street on Saturdays. For you. It's um, it's up to the SIP2 offices. How online, much did Tony uh, get of Betty's money? Well. Ooh, Winnie, knock it off. Mm-hmm. I haven't had the honeycomb lottery now yet. Uh, we know you should get the thirty. I've had all the other um, me and all the other knock it off. I haven't had the well, hang honeycomb up. one because I like iced coffee myself. Oh uh, what? I don't when need somebody, to discuss any of that bullshit with anybody. When somebody loves you and wants to discuss something with you, you won't talk to them. But when they treat you like a fucking pail of fish heads, then you will. Is that how it is, it bitch? Winning. Uh, uh, this Winning. is the bullshit that I fucking hate. People trying to get information out of me about my bro, fucking life. I don't about want shit that happened in my decision. fucking life. I don't want to get it's, information. It's enough. I just need you to realize that you yeah. are a loser and you deserve to be they're, 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 They've been doing a honeycomb kind of... Line like they've got the people trying to get fucking they've information on me. Bullshit. They've got some other things too. Oh yeah, because when friends are trying to get to know other friends, Honey that's what's going on. Uh -huh. No, oh, I don't ask him about you guys' just fucking past and details of it and shit. Yeah, you do all the time, stupid. Of who, of who yeah, you, I, the, who you fight over for money and all this other shit? Because I yeah, never uh, have. The only reason you guys ask me is because we're just on fucking line. Because Debbie goes, Betty goes on there, fucking what coffee? There's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, and proves you to be a liar. One bad. And what? And proves you to be a liar. No, not and proves me to be a liar. She probably didn't tell you that, her, that we built her fucking floor. And she had to have it on her, on her fucking trailer. We built her fucking addition floor. We built her fucking walls. We put a roof on twice. Because her fucking neighbor. Because you didn't do it right the first time. Arthur Bailey oh. kept coming down and... and Saying that he can uh, he can use his crane to put the trusses up. The okay, trusses up were fucking fucking inch too small. Yeah, you bought them. Two inches, inch, inch on each side. Who too fucking him? small. Who bought them? She did. Yeah, right. Betty did. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't fucking buy them. They were there when I got there. Oh, okay, because you told me you spent all of her money on supplies, so... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Alton has hair like that Turpin dad. Massive <laughs> I wonder how much shit, of her money that? he got. <laughs> Alton Fucking didn't help me hell. on that job. He has turf in here, and the pr the pictures already prove you wrong. Okay. I don't see why you have to lie. I don't, I don't, I'd like to know where people got pictures, all them pictures. From your MySpace, stupid! Hello, Perverted Justice has them as part of their discovery package available publicly <laughs> so online. My so you can run from the truth. Power. You can't have that no one's truth. That's so all your Shut up. That was not part of my, that was not part of my discovery people. package. Yes, it was. It was all of the MySpace pictures and screen caps of your MySpace. And you had pictures and descriptions and captions because you had no life. And all you did was upload pictures of you and your family and friends working on jobs Elton and your mom and your stupid and your gorilla and you eat ass. Uh, and I see you. No, shut up and listen to me. Die. That was not part of my fucking discovery pack. You suck a dick, you fucking. If it was, then I would have fucking gotten that. I didn't get any of that. So what the fuck is perverted justice doing with that? Big up McDonald's. They're lying to um, fucking people, telling them it's part of my discovery nice package coffee. when it wasn't. Just their coffee in general, Mac Cafe. Big up. If it was, I would have gotten that. Well, I want to think that perverted justice is telling the truth about everything. Perverted oh, justice hacked into my computer. The fucking perverted justice. That's what they did. They don't yes. want to say that. Really? That's new. I didn't know they did that. They hack into anybody's computer that they can possibly hack into. So they hacked you? Oh, my God. Why didn't you sue they them? Probably, they probably just... fucking hacked you. The toffee latte. What? Hmm. Big up. If they, if they know who you are, they probably hack you. Oh my god. No. -uh. Uh huh. It's Davey Von Eric we're talking about here. Von he knows Von you, Eric. remember? He's probably already hacked into your computer. Oh my god. But 
I used the system wipe. Like a matter of, he knows you, he'll do whatever he has to, to do to get into your computer. Get your information. Yes, so wait, if they hacked your the computer, then they did get real Unless information. Unless Chris waiting for me you're lying. Side, if they know. hacked into it, then that's how they got real information. Here to say they made stuff up, but then they hacked. Come Wrong on, Lauren. The cops had my computer. Okay. Okay, so... How oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Justice got it. That's the only one. thing that they could have done was hack it. Um, Man. no, because you shared your MySpace page with Kayla. When I was and last time I was in McDonald's in Galway, they, 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 they put it as part of the your discovery package to show that you talked to young girls. And it, it wasn't was even entered into evidence because you already took the plea deal. So then they just put everything out online about Alton and Tony and your little captions you wrote back from mom and everything. And it was not part of my discovery package. Well, it was. It Maybe it was. No, it was not. Maybe it if was it was, then I would have gotten them. Well, then you probably would have, because you know what? We have all your shit, and it doesn't have any fucking chat pages missing. How about that? Uh, well, it doesn't. Uh, how about how about that? It does. It doesn't matter. Twenty-seven pictures of your dick and your ass. You think they hacked into the computer for that? They took screenshots of the webcam, baby. Winning. What? Winning. Winning. I'm telling you, knock it off. You're telling me they Doesn't hacked into your computer. I don't uh, I don't want to fight. I don't know what the fuck they did. At this point, I don't care. <laughs> I've served my fucking time. That shit okay. is done. I'm going to get it the fuck out of my life, whether you like it or not. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Obviously, you don't like it because you just like to stress me out, which is going to make me hang up if you keep it up. Don't think I'm gonna keep putting up with that bullshit. Away. Shoes untied. Yeah, everybody fucking thinks they know everything about my fucking life. They don't know fucking shit. You got that? This is why me and Debbie get along better than me and you. Because you do this stuff. And I can't have this stuff in my life. What do you fucking piss Lorna off? I know, I'm sorry. I just No, you're not sorry, because you do it all the time. Well, you told me you were hacked. This is the first time you ever... Yeah, well, I don't put it past them. <laughs> Look who we're fucking talking about. Yeah, but I just told you something, and you said that's a lie, and then I, I told you something else, and you're like, how did they know that truth? They must have hacked into my computer. Instead of just saying, okay, I lied. <laughs> well, about the pictures on MySpace, I didn't, uh, fuck, I forgot all about them. Uh, how they even used MySpace. <laughs> Kayla was your friend on MySpace. Of course she... All right, listen, you, you, you're you going right back into it again, Winnie. You're trying to lead me into fucking getting into it again. And it's stressing me out and pissing me off. And I'm not going to fucking do it. So if you want to do it, we can just get off the phone. Yeah, I don't have to help somebody. I'm not doing anything but trying to help you. Then I shut up about it. I don't know what's <laughs> <about>. <laughs> Fuck. Well, you this keep fucking is... talking. I think you're in love with fucking perverted justice and Xavier of Honor. I love you, baby. <laughs> I can't be in love with justice. Dell looks like a male Playboy bunny. <laughs> like a sexy Easter bunny. <laughs> I'm not in love with them. <laughs> Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, Show us out like it. Fucking I'm hell. in love with you. <laughs> oh, by the way, Kat. No, you need to be in love with Will. If you go, if you go to <laughs> Barrow for dinner, yeah, and uh, you want to get dessert, <laughs> don't uh, don't toss out the Mrs. Anyway, what was the split, Lauren? You it's took twenty, really and then Tony and your brother took. It's got a weird name. Shut up. Kind of right. sounds like a sex act. <laughs> Bye. But, <laughs> Call me around six. What's up? I'm sorry. No, you know, you do it all the time. It pisses me off, and you know it pisses me off, so you just keep doing it.
I sorry you got hacked. I don't know if I got hacked or not. Oh. I don't doubt that I if I got hacked, and no. I don't want to talk about it. Oh. What are you doing? I'm looking through the pictures to see what they got from your computer. See if they were lying. Well, I know they weren't in my discovery package. It was what they were preparing to put into your discovery package if you didn't take the plea deal. They were just going to nail more charges on it. For what? For attempted reproduction of child pornography. Um, yeah, well, well, see, they, they couldn't do that because I didn't have any child pornography in there. She a minor because you told her that there, there was going to be beer at your house. And you didn't offer her any, but they were trying I, to get those charges, too. Where are you getting that information from? It's from the Perverted Justice Forums. It's all old yeah, stuff. Um, they said yeah, that they well, were going to try to do that, and that also because you were encouraging Kayla to run away, which is a crime for a child to do, that you were contributing to the delinquency of a minor and attempted kidnapping. I already know about all that. Than, um, Anything that, that they have on my computer, I don't have it. They've never had any child pornography on my computer. I'm I'm I didn't have one picture that they sent me. Strictly. I didn't say you did, and I didn't Who say that you took some pictures good. of the girls that you met it's up with life. before you went to Nashville either. I didn't say anything like that. How do you know about any girls before I went to Nashville? Hello, I've been listening to you read the chat. <sighs> Alright. This is the deal. I can, I'm done talking about it. I talk about it. enough with Debbie. I'm done talking about it. No, no, you're not. Yes, I yes, know I am. Or that, I, I, I do have a finger that I have a finger that works very well on this thing. Hang up button. Oh yeah. Well, then you're going to listen to what I have to say. I don't know about all of the women that you met up with from the internet before Nashville, but none of them were ever said to be a minor. So I don't know why the fuck you're trying to talk shit to me. Because people are always talking shit to me. And it's irritating. Cheesecake. Oh, you mean there. when they're trying to hold you responsible for the decisions that you've wow. made as an adult? Man? Winning, winning, winning. What? I don't need to hear it from you. Are you Ooh, busted yeah, like your size small I hear, pants? I hear. Oh, do fish stay out of her food? Goofy baby. I talk about this enough. In class, and with your sister. I don't need to hear it from every Tom, Dick, and Harry that I talk to. Dumb I'm not you. Tom, Dick, or Harry. I shave, okay? Well, you know Daddy, what I mean? she's gay. <laughs> I don't know what Tom, Dick, and Harry are who they are, okay? Well, you know what I mean. I Why don't you just swallow a hand cube it. and relax a little says, bit? Um, They're like Chinese Xanax for hillbillies. <laughs> grinsel, grinsel. <laughs> Take a chill pill, bitch. It's cool. Well, I'm trying to. I worked 13 and a half hours today. I'm trying to chill. Well, take off your clothes, sit on your recliner, have a cold glass of water, and pet your dog. As close as That makes me feel better. I just, I just fed my dog. We'll go make a pedo salad with gravy. I don't know, eh? Sexual. No, I gotta get shit ready for tomorrow. Why are you working tomorrow? You work today. Because I work every day. I don't. On my days off, I still work. Daily cheesecake. That's why I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Remember Very when good. you loved me? Yeah. Before Debbie came in around shaking her Stop yoga it. ass all over the place, eh? Stop it. I wish I could mow my lawn, but it's getting dark now. I wish. I okay. bet you Betty wishes she could mow her lawn, but she's very fatigued from all the cancer treatments, you know. Winnie. Kenny Gold is the only butter. Why are you, why are you saying that to me? Because I feel bad Kenny for Betty. Okay, yeah, I feel bad for Betty that she has cancer. Me too. And I didn't say a I shot to you at all. I don't feel bad that she goes online and says shit about me. 
Well, in a place where she knows she can talk about me because everybody does. Sal, you talk about her. She just encourages it. Darian? No, I don't. It stinks. I like starfruit from Final Fantasy. Hatch. Is dragon starfruit a real thing? Starfruit's from uh, no starfruit from Kingdom Hearts. Uh, no idea. Oh my What's god! From Kingdom this Hearts? is the truth. I cut a pineapple today. It's really true what they say online. Gordon Ramsay said to turn the pineapple upside down, and put it in your refrigerator. Oh my god! So much cum came out of where my pussy comes. It was really good. <laughs> Probably is. Maybe I'm getting it wrong. You should taste it. Well, I wish you have the was... pineapple that I had today. I've never had so it, but don't be um. Out. Don't be taking the Lord Little's name in vain. I do have pineapple. Oh, really? But not like I this. Will, this one was completely yellow. I got you know, like a five-pound can of pineapple. I don't know. Breaking you know, the land. They to work with me. Baby, it's not the same. you got to cut all of the red ridgers off. Mm, the spinies. Like I'm Super Mario. <laughs> um, How many little <laughs> girls? <laughs> what? Juices came out when you yawned right now. What? What? How many flies oh, flew into your throat? I coughed. Cool. That was a cough. I yawned, was a yawn. I yawned and then I coughed. Ew, all the sputum came out. Any of the, the, the chocolate from the little They were like a little chocolate. Amazing. Whatever. I know about sputum. When I get a lot of it, I try not to hawk the little. <laughs> they've got, you do it a lot, they've got though, a bar right? in little that's basically a knockoff of the well, Darren of the Oreo bar. Well, it's better. When you clear your throat, you swallow the Lugers or do you spit them out? I'm just asking. Well, it it's called like Neo or something. Big white Neo or something. Like Some stupid name. If, if, if I feel like I need to spit them out, then I spit them out. If I feel like I need to swallow, just swallow them, I swallow them. Oh, then you won't be hungry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? I'm getting I'm getting less and less hungry all the time. Oh, I wish I had that one. I don't eat as much as what I used to. Shut you down. Most most of what I eat is salad and fruit. Fucking so more fruit. Once every day. Do you eat peanuts? No, I haven't. Not for a while. They're good for protein. Also, I was talking about peanut ass. <laughs> I wonder if Dan would like mm. peanut. Peanuts give you cramps, you said. Yeah, they do. But how come peanut butter cashews, doesn't give you cramps? Cashews don't. Cashews don't give me cramps. I, I need some peanuts, but if I eat a lot of peanuts, they'll give me cramps. Your body the won't cashews. reject something that you already have had and that it's been, you know, accustomed to, like your cashew-shaped dick. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Good news. Oh, you? come on. Laugh with me, Colin. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't really feel like laughing at all. Come on, Colin Polyp. Oh, Colin Polyp sounds like a really cool name. I'm going to name my next abortion that. <laughs> Jeez. You little witch laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only laugh I know. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> What did you eat for supper? I haven't had any supper. That's good. I had my Sweetie, dinner and uh, that's my not lunch. Good. Why don't you have a supper? Aren't you? Do you have money for food? Do you need me to send you some money? Yes, I've got. I've oh, got honey. A couple of pork chops I have. Oh. Are you going to put gravy on them? I love pork chops with gravy and no. potatoes. I'm going to put ketchup on them. Ketchup on pork they chops. Dip them, in, dip them in ketchup. What? You sick fucking animals. I like eating salmon ketchup. with a one sauce. What? What? I said sick feet. I like dipping them in ketchup. Don't tell Debbie. She loves ketchup. Well, she will fall in love with you. She what? She loves ketchup. Debbie she loves won't ketchup. fall in love with me. Oh, I like ketchup too. I'm not really fucking with well, that. Like ketchup. I'm gonna be honest if with you. I'm not really fucking with that. On a pork chop, her clothes are as good as off. I'm just saying. <laughs> She's all have to offer ketchup on a pork chop, huh? Yeah, and also she likes 
um, apple fritters, but she likes to dunk them Hollywood. in hot chocolate milk. I don't know why. <laughs> I like ketchup, though. Yeah, that's it's not important. That's crazy. Yeah. Come on. She loves it. Yeah. Drink all the, the chocolate milk afterwards. Sounds like it tastes good. Piri Piri pork chops. Now, they're nice. Uh, oh, crap. It's her favorite thing. It's she says she likes it because, you know, like, when we were younger... <laughs> We used to drink fresh squeezed orange juice because we used to live around, you know, know, California when I was younger. It was all like orange bros, right? (laughs) And I really like my orange juice with a lot of milk. I like to chew my orange juice. Bit of Heinz and uh, Uh, leave it overnight. I like it either way, but I like it better without pulp. Well, when um, Debbie was younger, she would dip her her apple fritters in her um, chocolate milk. And then afterwards, she would look in there, and she'd be like, look, it's like the floaties are like um, the pulp in the orange juice. And she would drink them. She said she likes to chew them after that, um, the hot chocolate rolled over her teeth and tongue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like her favorite thing. Wow. Don't tell did her. She get her did she get her chocolate milk from a brown cow? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most racist thing I've ever heard you say. Good you mean? bitch. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> you know, white milk from a white cow, just get her chocolate milk from a brown cow. Well, I think it's funny, baby, but don't tell her that joke, please, because what? we actually... There's nothing racist, there's nothing racist about it. No, no, it's nothing like that. Our, our grandfather died drinking milk. A cow sat on her. <laughs> what? What did you say? My grandfather died from drinking milk. It's a very sensitive subject. Okay. Is it a made-up story? <laughs> I just told you a cow sat on him. You don't know. A cow sat on him. I didn't hear that. Cow uh, we, have, um, we have a type of blood sausage in Ireland called black pudding. That's funny. And I like wow. ketchup on that. Yeah. But I won't have it on fucking pork chops. Come on, I'm trying uh, to do things. Buffalo <laughs> ass. Uh, we separate those. Come on, they were the old days. We used to sit and laugh at stupid insanity. Remember that? Well, I'm, I'm tired. Like the good old days. Oh, that's that's so good. Oh, that's Hank. Is that all What's there that is to it? Is it, con- is it Chronic is Hilti or is it Kelly's? I can't remember. It's really good. <laughs> Everyone is. And Denny's as well. Yep. Break out the booze. <laughs> there. Well, let's put them all always ready. Why did you throw a can of pineapple and a piece of bread in a bag? I used to prefer the white pudding when I was kidding, no, but the black pudding now is my shit. That is my when fucking When you cut shit. fruit up and it's you put so it in the refrigerator, it gets juicier. Can you notice yeah. that? Yeah, I know. I drink the juice. I spy from the job. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that made me wet. Oh, you you oh, know yeah. why it gets juicier? Why, baby? Because the juice all drained out of the fruit. Mm-hmm. The fucking Dale. Out of the fruit. We relax. Knock it off. A Dale Come left on. Me Can I hear so. you drink the juice? Just slurp it with your No. Mouth. Knock it off. You look like your lips are on vacation all the time. What happened to them? Why don't you have lips? Ooh. I do have lips. Like, they're not cute lips. Like, What's you know, you don't have an anime mouth or big, sexy, full lips or anything. I have your sausages for crooked. breakfast sometimes, but I don't know. My lips are my, my lips. Oh, breakfast. I know. Sausage. I want to kiss them. That must be a, cer- a certain thing. Oh, you need to kiss Will's lips. You're married to Will. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm now I know what that is. Lips. <laughs> now I know what that is. <laughs> I will do it very now. May I continue? When I, I was thinking about you this morning, I was holding Larry, and I thought, if Lauren were here, I know I could give Larry to Lauren, and Lauren would not get turned on because he's yeah. not a pedophile. And I think people are wrong about you. People are wrong about me. I, I mean, up if it were a girl baby, <laughs> that's one thing. But I know you would yeah, never hurt Larry. Now. You would be a good grandpa if you could leave the steak, come over, and like watch oh, my house and buddy. do a barbecue queue. Love it. I spent most of my life around kids. Just normal Irish like sausages. No, like, like, uh, they're not going to be able to be able to know you. Even when I was a kid. All the fucking shit. 
Let's put my labor on kids. Well, I hope so. That would be appropriate. <laughs> Silly. If you're a kid, of course you're going to play with other kids. I liked playing store. I would go collect things from the wilderness in our backyard, and I would pretend to sell them to my mom and stuff. Did you ever do that? Uh, we used to sell just me and some kids down the road when I lived in, here in Cornville. We used to here pretend to sell snakes and mice and stuff like that. That's cool! Did you ever sell a snake? Oh, crap, man. You're making me nope. fucking hungry, man. Like, you picked up man. a snake before that was alive? We just, Some of the parts of it, though, I don't yeah, need. Yeah, I, I don't need all of the parts. Wow, do you know what kind? Maybe just the I'm meat. really interested <laughs> in this. And then I have those, of course. So you have Well, that's good. Right. They eat the gophers. Well, here in California. What do you have that what burrows down underground right? in Maine that they would eat? The, the snakes would? Yeah, like field mice or what? Well, they don't, they're not really big enough to field mice. Big old Irish fry. They eat more insects. In the morning. And, oh, yeah. And That's good. Bugs that are underground, I think. Oh, I thought they ate vermin. No, yeah, well, they're not really big enough to eat. Garden six, I don't know. Garden one. Garden one. Sounds good. It's just small. They don't get any more than maybe a foot and a half. They eat baby fuzzy yeah. mice. They eat like the babies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe. No, I know. I used to work. <laughs> I, used to, I used to work at the am, amphibian stop and shop. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, I, oh, I know yeah. about snakes. It, they eat little fuzzies. If they are babies, they're called pinkies. And then when they get a little bit fuzzy, they're called fuzzies. And then when they See open their later, eyes and move around, they're called hoppers, but they're not full grown yet. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I miss being a kid. Really? I miss being a little... Yeah, I miss miss being a little little kid, a really little kid. Yeah, I wouldn't have mesh, I wouldn't have mushrooms in mine, Zach. How fucked up the world is. I loved it when I was a kid. Well, when I was a kid, I was getting raped, so I already knew the world was fucked up. But those little times when I wasn't that, getting raped, I enjoyed my childhood a whole lot. <laughs> toast or brown bread or whatever whatever was going on, like. Yeah, I wish you wouldn't. Oh, some bread of some description. Me too. Me too. I wish you had a better life too. I wish your brothers hadn't have done what they did to you. Then maybe you wouldn't have. Isn't bread many struggles? Just, uh, I'm just not. Irish please, either. I'm not trying to insult you. Okay. But maybe you I would know. have a, I don't a hard time. You know. Gonna be asked. Yeah, that messed me up. If that messed me up, then I can imagine it. What happened to you? Messed you, you up. You was a fucking kid. Okay, I ask you something. Wounded. I'm not recording or nothing, I promise. It's stupid to do that anyway, but... Did any of your other brothers, yeah. like, get messed up like you because of what happened to them? Or were you the only one that was kind of like a victim? I think I'm the only one. Because I know I'm the only one. Well, you and I know what happened to... Why do you think she turned out to be so good? I really like her. She's pretty. <laughs> and pimples like her. Yeah, absolutely mad like that on the teeth. Yeah, she has pretty dimples. Barry's her lines. Yeah. She's so pretty. She <laughs> reminds me of Betty Boop. Did I ever tell you that? Yeah, you did. I think she's cute. She was probably super cute when she was younger, like a hot lady. Yeah, I used to. I used to love it when she'd, she'd give me attention. She'd sit me down and... She run her fingernails through my hair looking for, for little mosquito bites, black fly bites. Uh, the fried tomatoes kind of... She's kind of like a second like mom me, to me you sometimes. That's how my aunt yeah. was with me. Yeah, she was... Well, she was, she was like a big sister. Ah, uh, the green box. A second just, I know the one. Just big sister. I know the one. That's my uh, Albert drink. She was a yeah. lot of oh, well. She probably... Like, pretended maybe you were her baby when she was younger, like how my siblings did. Oh, she did. She definitely did that. Hopefully she didn't breastfeed you. <laughs> no, she didn't do that. 
Well, I don't would. think she would. She seems like a decent lady. Yeah. yeah. She wanted a little sister so bad. And you take it, you take it off record. You don't. I'm not you recording. recording I'm not recording. Board. Hello. I'm. All right. They send me a I... message. Listen to me. They send me a message two hours before my dialysis. My dialysis is at I'm 8, it's 6 video, o'clock, so it's a I confirmation I need to reply to yes or no if I'm coming, that so they can free up the bed for somebody, okay, or the chair, I mean. Or whatever. All right. I mean, How if you that? can't tell in my voice when I'm lying, you've known me long enough. Well, I'm just saying, I'll be you're hopping you're off for eight minutes, I'm waiting for this call. I'm not recording you. That's that's not a good thing to do. That's why I haven't been playing the game, I've just been too. Bad habit to get into. I don't know if I told you this before yeah, or not. Really like she that she dressed me up like a little girl. Aw, how sweet she'd play dress up. Yeah, well, I didn't really understand what she was doing then because I was only like four years old. Oh, well, you didn't know any better. Was it fun? No, I didn't. I dressed yeah, up like a I don't know. Um, I, I was playing with her. She'd give me some toy to play with, and I'd sit there and play with the toy, and she'd... Funky. Do all kinds of crap to my hair, and then Spunky would come in and steal the toy, and she she all sorts of fucking, fucking Aww, shit. I bet she really, really, really wanted a little sister. Yeah, she did. There's some. Does she have any little there. girls? They I hope she little had. Little you don't have to tell me, and please yeah, don't actually. Yeah, yeah, but I hope she was able to have little. I don't know, Cat. I'm excited. Finally, I'll, be a mommy. I'll find some. Yeah, she, she was a good mom in the every little. No, she's a good mom now, but. Ah, the viewer. That's she why I'm happy. She was happy when she had kids. I'm happy. She what little girl? What do you want, little girl? She's over here poking me with her nose. You want your after supper biscuit? Yep. Her thing is, her thing is, right now is she doesn't. She doesn't wait for the biscuit. She runs into the bedroom, gets on the bed so I can bring the biscuit to her. Oh, she's so she get your biscuit. She's a princess. You should serve it to her on a silver platter. <laughs> I assume that's spoiled. Yakuza 7, the one that just came out, that's coming out. Spoiled little girl. There you go, sweetie. Oh, letter. She thinks that house is <laughs> your, or hers, and that you just live there in her house. Yakuza, <laughs> I mean, no, that's, things are being claimed. That's what she seems so to I assume it's the game that's that coming out bed is hers. Yeah. <laughs> dragon, you, you, whatever it's called. You heard her growl before when I go to get into bed. Maybe what a biscuit. She growls at me. And now she is disgusted. She growls and she jumps off the bed and runs into a different room. Then later on, she'll come up on the bed and she'll come right up next to my head. You should tell her. Cuddle. Growl at me. Cuddle on, growl at me cuddle on my neck you. or my chest. Uh -uh. Huh? You should tell her. Well, growl at me. Why don't you? Yeah, no, I told her, I told her, shut up. You shouldn't tell her, shut up. I heard you call her a 